Yeah, man, the renegade when afraid. Man in the wilderness, alongside my sister, Maria, and people, Rati, a sign on in a couple minutes. Yeah, and herb. So on a soul scene. So good evening. Good afternoon, good evening, good night, and good morning to some. Because I remember Maria, people watching from mm -hmm. all over the globe, you know. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Greetings, to, greetings, my brother, and greetings to everybody in the chat. Happy Sunday blessings to all my friends in the chat. Well, where's Megawatt Vote? In San Anias and Catherine and Audrey and um, Cynthia B, Mr. G, Gloria Morris, all of them. Yes, so so tonight, people, is a hot night, you know, because it is. Mm -hmm. We don't start about here, I have to say. Don't, don't start the argument yet until we come on with a with a communion thing there. You know the communion? Mm -hmm. Communion mm -hmm. thing. So we're not we're, we're gonna talk about it, you know, but when she come on because she, they might drop word on us, you know. So Ratty, I mm -hmm. deal with that. Well, I deal with our case tonight. And then we we'll have um Carpal Ruan James, Chairman Ruan James. We still yeah. never, never play a lot of politics with him around this, you know. So we have to mm -hmm. deal with that tonight as tweet me. Talk. We have to talk to Sykes, Ryan Sykes, Chief Justice Sykes. Stop, mm -hmm. make them play political football with the good cop. They need to stop it. So we have to talk about that. We have to talk about that. And that's a big yeah. thing on the agenda too. We have to talk about the water and you know, the people. Because the Jamaica government, you know, it's a top of government, right? Yes, mm -hmm. it's a top of government. And you know this black tank when I fill up the place with I, I must, our twenty thirty vision this Maria, the bag of yes. black tank. In a twenty twenty four nightmare. Yes, yeah. at the twenty thirty vision that Jamaica turned first world mm -hmm. country, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, best, people never show us some yeah. things. Never show us some things next to a right or so. We not have no water problem, and the amount of money they might chop them up for us stop it. We have some video where I show you. It's when you want to sit through this, you know why you're not foolish. It's the garbage from the government again. Yeah? You mm -hmm. don't want to hear it. As a matter of fact, we should have started from that, you know, because they're going to come in. But me, 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 yeah, let me start from this. I want to show you something, Maria. People, mm -hmm. they're going to log in already. So I want to start from this. Yeah. I want to start from this. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna start from this. Let me show you where I start from. We're gonna start from this, Maria. We're gonna start from this. More to me, I'm gonna show you how Cayman. Cayman do have a river, you know. Cayman surrounded by salt water. We used to have Cayman, you know. Cayman was like our parish. A parish. Like a it's like it connect to West Berlin and Miguel. And over. Okay, connect to them parish the other so. And came and have used salt water. Yeah, salt water, turn it into fresh water. And then not talk about no rainfall and nothing like this. I have shown them just came and said, I'll be right or so. So when the government run out of the terrible water, remember we river them not dry. Them to stop the foolishness. And I have shown the bid when came and people, when they have bid, how much money, like 22 million, for build this and this, and what they have make. In a Jamaica, even if they said 3 billion or 3.8 billion, that. In a Jamaica, you're 100, 200 billion, and it's not going away. They might chop up. Look on these people. Very important. Watch this. Neutralizes it so it can be released. In Look on this. Oh, where does our water come from today? We'll answer that question for you. Water authority came on. If you need water, all you have to do is turn on your tap and you have instant access to potable water. But that wasn't always the case. Before the introduction of piped water, residents of the Cayman Islands had two main sources of water. Groundwater, accessed through step wells, and in later years, hand or electric pumps, or rainwater collected via cisterns. But rainwater is highly variable, and it was clear that it would soon become an unreliable source for a growing population. That is why legislation was passed to create the Water Authority as we know it today. So where does the Water Authority get its water? The sea. Seawater is extremely salty, too oh. salty for the human body to process. 
So the water authority removes the dissolved salts to make the water potable, which is another way of saying drinkable. To do that, we use a process called reverse osmosis. Reverse osmosis involves using high external pressure to force a salt water through a semi-permeable membrane, removing approximately 99.9% .9 of the salts and creating fresh drinkable water. The first step of the reverse osmosis process is groundwater abstraction. The seawater we are treating doesn't come straight from the ocean. Instead, this look much mile up, up, up see the water main pipe 400 miles the customer them and everything and the drive that's not how much gallon 17.4 million us gallon ready yet is it safe to drink your tap water we are able to actually reassure the community that the quality of the water is safe the lab has a dedicated member of staff who collects water samples from across our distribution network for daily testing. 4842. The authority is also tasked with protecting our country's groundwater resources. The authority manages the abstraction of water from the freshwater aquifer in East End and is responsible for making sure it does not become contaminated through improper managed development or overuse. We conduct routine monitoring of the groundwater through sample wells across Eastern districts. Now that you know where your water comes from, the next question is, what happens after it goes down the drain? The authority operates the public sewage system, which is connected to our wastewater treatment plant. The sewage system is gravity fed and uses lift stations to raise the sewage to the next gradient. Mm -hmm. Approximately 20% of the island's wastewater is processed through the wastewater treatment plant. The other 80% is treated via septic tanks and ATUs. The authority monitors these on-site wastewater treatment systems 
via its on-site wastewater management program. Wastewater is water, which is why the wastewater treatment process is all about reducing the impact of wastewater on the environment, a process meant to benefit the environment, not harm it. Wastewater arrived to the treatment plant in two ways. It's pumped into the lift station directly from the public sewage system, or it's delivered via truckers who collect wastewater from septic. So Maria, let me just move up this now. So, came on, but you have to depend on us. All them laboratory, them testing thing and everything are first class. Eh? What about Jamaica? Jamaica going back way. Came on, was like, you know, uh, one away. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and this is a recent, and this is a recent project because it was in two thousand and two, so yes. that was like twenty two years ago. So yes. it's a recent, it's a recent project. So I don't see why they cannot do a partnership with the Cayman um, government. So them, 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 them not complain about water, and I tell people about drought and rainfall. Them mm -hmm. they have river. But you don't hear some extreme the drought and not yes, they work out them thing, and if them can have that. Why, why Jamaica could exactly. not? And they wouldn't even need it because the water river them not dry up. All them need for is pipe up the thing and treat the thing and deal with the thing proper. Mm? Right, and the thing is, but but if you know, there are two problems we have. One is, it's a, if, if the government does it by themselves, then you eliminate independent people. But given the current situation now, the government is not going to do it because they're going to have independent people come and take it over and have an investment. So they're going to have ministers and MPs being invested in this instead of the government itself. That is one of the problems we are facing. But I'm thinking, outside of that, they should do a partnership with, 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 the, with, Grant, with the Cayman government to bring that same project there to facilitate the water shortage that they're having. But they have to be you have to eliminate the problems of corruption that they are facing, you know. But it is a very good project, and I'm I'm listening to it and I'm watching it, and I'm thinking to myself, it would do Jamaica would would, would benefit the people of Jamaica would benefit from having something like that there to the National Water Commission or mm -hmm. water agency or whatever they change it from to, you know, what that agency what that deals with water. That would work very well for the for, for the people, and it, mm. it, I think it would reduce their water bills as well too. And they will have a constant source of water in their pipes, so they wouldn't be having this problem because this is right there, they, and they have rivers. Not all the rivers. Um, are um, Maria, up. sorry, sorry. Them say a yeah. song can I look a lower? Can I turn okay. it up for me? Okay, okay, yes. Yeah. Mm. Um, right, that's better. Yeah, talk about me, you know. Okay, 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 yeah, that's better? Yeah, that's better, yeah. Okay, okay, cool, 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 yeah. So, yes, so um, I it is a very good project, and it, I would love a smart minister. Who is the minister of, um, is it, I think that's Dal Vaz's portfolio right now? No, no, um, I got what I call J Jacket. Oh, um, Matthew Samuda. Matthew yes, Samuda has yes, a, that guy, yes. Matthew Samuda has a portfolio. Yes. But if they were looking for ways to alleviate the water crisis, then they would look to other places within the Caribbean that do not have that problem and do not have the amount of water um, sources that Jamaica has and tap into that and partner with them to bring that those same facilities, that, that same facility there. So but you know this but you know that this but you know what is sad it is sad way that this exists and they are not tapping into these um resources it is there they don't have to reinvent the wheel they do not have to reinvent the wheel they just need the will to go out there and speak to them and be straightforward and honest the problem is the corruption people are too mm -hmm. dishonest and speak to them and get this program have them come and teach them, show them how it can be set up in Jamaica to benefit the people, because I see where it can be of benefit to, to the Jamaican people. Mm -hmm. and, so and so this one, I'm going to a couple more videos, right? Mm -hmm. Because when them come out, you know, them tell us this and them are going to put in this in place. They are going to do this because of politics, right? So have some people just tell me, don't get, so them get some water, them that for be down the river. I'm going to tell you right now. Let me tell you right now. So, 
me just get this in. Cause them said the whole of February, just before the, the, the protest in Negril, lack of water, no water range hill, Mount Erie, Good Hope, all of the adjoining communities. Since the protest, we have water flowing in the pipes. Not every day, but we can work with that. At least we can harvest some. Last week we had water Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, then Saturday, but come back a short while ago. So some of them places where here we are talk. I just them and them foolishness. How and all. Welcome back. <laughs> Your dreams are your ticket. Somebody copy your voice, you know. Put a season, this is. I know. No, we can hear them copy it, man. Oh, my goodness. Oh, go on. Go on, go on. What's going on, my brother? Good well, show yesterday. Good, good show yesterday. Yeah. Really yeah, good show. Yeah, Especially yeah, the young people. Team. The young people are, yeah, the young people are really on point. I mean, brilliant guys, right? The three of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice the future looks company. good. The future looks good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. We just have to just get yeah. rid of the dead weight, the impediments, the corrupt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True that. True that. Get rid of that. Mm -hmm. You know, your dead weight mm -hmm. are dropped on your so. The Monday are dropped on you, you know. What that is, I like get rid of the dead weight and make them a come drop what power again now, you know. <laughs> right away, I forget rid of the dead weight once and for all. They can't them drop what power, man. No, well, <laughs> well, look, you see, when, when you don't have anything that you can point to and say, well, these are my successes, then you start pointing fingers at people, you know. Instead of you point to your, your successes, then you point to people. And that's how you know, say, you're a failure. That, and another thing. You see, when them talk about we, we know we are getting under them skin. We know it <laughs> matter. Because otherwise, you don't talk about people who know, have no substance or who know, you know, they have no effect at all. You don't talk about them people. Eh? You talk about people where eh, can really affect the way you move forward. And that is we. Fantastic <laughs> four plus one, fantastic them, five. Them, but know? them say the small and fantastic five for them. So they say the, the small, a small group, of, you know, in the, how would they call the small group? Because every boy I know, you never the, would, right? So, the small them group of people. Them are we the major part, man? Yeah, the small group of people are, are, the, are, are, feeling, are them representative people who get less than 100 votes and so them represent more than a million people, you know? <laughs> or people who get 13 votes and so them represent 800,000 people, 17 votes. And that are the small group. Well, I have, have, have come mash up that right now. I have tell you what. Something, Ratty. I just yeah. show Maria something. I'm going to show him. I can play back a look apart it, right? Yeah. In a Jamaica, the, the other day, they matter about extreme job. Came and have no river. Came and you see water, Ratty. Sea yeah. water. So remember this. I play back a little touch of this for you. And then I can show you a match or some mood that they run out comes, right? Now I play yeah. back a little thing here. Play back a little thing here. Look on this. You use it every day. But have you ever asked yourself, where does our water come from today? We'll answer that question. All you have to do is turn on your tap and you have instant access to potable water. But that wasn't always the case. Before the introduction of piped water, residents of the Cayman Islands had two main sources of water. Groundwater, accessed through step wells, and in later years, hand or electric pumps, or rainwater collected via cisterns. But rainwater is highly variable and it was clear that it would soon become an unreliable source for a growing population. That is why legislation was passed to create the Water Authority as we know it today. So where does the Water Authority get its water? The sea. Sea water is extremely salty, too salty for the human body to process. So the Water Authority removes the dissolved salts to make the water potable, which is another way of saying drinkable. To do that, we use a process called reverse osmosis. Reverse osmosis involves using high external pressure to force a salt water through a semi-permeable membrane, removing approximately 99.9% .9 of the salts and creating fresh drinkable water. The first step of the reverse osmosis process 
is groundwater abstraction. The seawater we are treating doesn't come straight from the ocean. Instead, using products of this process is a concentrated salty brine solution. This extremely salty water is disposed of into deep underground wells, much deeper than the wells that are used to abstract our feed water. But before the brine solution is disposed of, we're able to use the energy inside this pressurized water to run a reverse osmosis plant using energy recovery devices. The next- So Ratti, them use the energy from that around the plant, you know. From the side, all right, watch it. Is post treatment. <clears throat> because we're using groundwater as our feed water, this clean, pure drinking water has a rotten egg smell. This is a result of the hydrogen sulfide found naturally in rocks, soil, and minerals. A degasifier is used to remove the hydrogen sulfide from the water, and a gas scrubber neutralizes it so it can be released into the atmosphere. Next, three chemicals are added to the water. Sodium hydroxide to adjust the pH of the water to neutral, zinc orthophosphate to mitigate the corrosive effects of fresh water, and chlorine to prevent bacterial growth. The treated water is then stored in one of the Authority's glass fused steel reservoirs before being pumped to your home or office. The Authority has 11 reservoirs across its facilities on Grand Cayman and Cayman Brac. Nine are in Grand Cayman and two in Cayman. Not only is drinking tap water safe, it's better for the environment because it reduces single-use plastic bottles and it's also cheaper than drinking bottled water. The average cost of one gallon of tap water is only three cents. How so after them do this, you know, three cents for their money. But our water we take from the river and they purify it. I have enough money up if you do not have Does the authority <laughs> ensure its water is Look safe that. to drink? That's thanks to the Water Resources and Quality Control Department. The authority's laboratory was the first of its kind in the Caribbean to gain international accreditation. It received its accreditation in 2002 by the American Association for Laboratory Accreditation and has maintained its accreditation ever since. We are testing water that is supplied throughout our distribution system and we also do testing for our private request customers and they typically get um, tests like chlorine, pH, conductivity, TDS. One of the things we're actually really looking for is bacteria. That is an important thing to look for in our water in terms of potability because if there's any bacteria that could potentially harm the community, we actually want to make sure to pick it up before the water actually makes it to the community. Without knowing what's in our water, then we can't say for sure that the water is safe. And by doing our work, we are able to actually reassure the community that the quality of the water is safe. The lab has a dedicated member of staff who collects water samples from across our distribution network for daily testing. 4842. The authority is also tasked with protecting our country's groundwater resources. The All right, so I'm gonna move that now, Rati. So, then nothing about no rain. We have to drop our sleep, you know. No, 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 no. Oh, you're up on the phone. Okay. So, then no. nothing about no rain. Then nothing about no rain. Them does, them does do something that mean, you know, it's because them not have no river and these things, people. Them nothing about no rain and tell about no drought and not like this. What them do, them just make sure them island good. We used to control that island, you know. After we get independent, you know, them depend on the queen of it back and them look about them one thing. But we used to look about the island. Them used to come to we for water. We have to send water there too. Yes. Everything. Them have to come to hospital and do everything. No, them have some the best of everything. Even the laboratory where them have. So me, I wonder how Jamaica river never dry yet, but we have water problem, Ratty. Remember before you visit something, you know. You remember the pipeline, the, the, the thing was start at Ukraine. Remember say Russia, you know. In a Siberia, in a them place, they have pipeline run from Siberia, firing thousands of miles. Run go to Europe, and get natural gas. Where them sell natural gas to this place. Jamaica now, like 145 mile long, around 56, 58 mile wide, the widest part. Or is it even if the river, them the day, out in a Maran, out in a center mass? There is no way Jamaica should have, nobody tell about Jota, you shot on a water by this. Foolishness and garbage. But for the man them doing about them come and, and Maria, them come with them black tank. Because we want to sell the black tank them. 
Call them friend. So the government come and say, we are doing it for because water and drought. We don't have no drought in Jamaica. None. Them people don't have no water. I'm going to show you water. I'm going to show you water right now. They don't have no water in Rati. This is salt water, you know. But yes, still, them could have set up that and them have no problem. They may be about no rain or nothing. Because the ocean big around them. When them, when them dig a salt water, they may get the same way. You understand? Salt water, same way. So them don't have no problem. As you can see it. Right? But the government now tell you, you still, people now have beer tank and them friends get tank. I'll show you what happened. Look on this now and then I'll make a tank. Look on this. Um, time come. All right, so this, we just get this. This is the man there in this. Um, Samuda. So, to so the people of Westmoreland, the Minister of Water came here last week. And he came on a helicopter. And he drove across the ground all day. He did visit you in your home to see the water from the yard. So, he didn't come on a helicopter today. I'm, I'm on a boat because. You have to come look where the people are getting the water from. And you have to come look where you're going to deliver the water from. And you have to have a clear understanding of the citizens of this country when you serve. So, Matthew, next time you come, don't come in the helicopter. Don't waste the taxpayers' funds. Find a boat or walk your foot or drive the government to the next day and come. All right? You'll be the water is pretty, um, Arati. No, but a serious note. Because I see some river all over the place. I saw some dirty water, you know, but you know, I saw that they have to use and they have to clean it up. Look how water, this I run to the sea, by the way. And all of the rivers, Black River, the whole of them river, you run to the sea. Jamaica is short of water. I just NWC not working and the government come out with them foolishness. Look for Black Tank now, where they have filled the place with Black Tank, coming in and understand. Look here. Remember, you know, we're supposed to turn first world country. Five, uh, five years and a couple months from now. First world. That are the promise, right? Look here. Avenue in Montego Bay at the NWC office in St. James. This is the graveyard for the billions of dollars that we have spent on buying these trucks. All right, so this I tell about the truck. I want to pass the truck and go to this first. And we continue our focus on the drought impacting Westmoreland and Hannibal. The situation has led to a boom in the water trucking business. Dwayne Anderson has more in part two of Waterless West. They come in all colors and sizes. That, uh, that truck here, that was a cesspool truck. See the water truck in front of me. This is not a water truck. That's a cesspool truck. All right. And you see where they're full of water, right here? That at NWC water catchment that you know. So if water in you know, this where them can't full, the water them check can't full. Why not turn on the valve and make the people them get them water? You know, say I play them, I play with the people. You see where them are full of the water though. At NWC thing this, you know. All right. Continue. And they're not the most common vehicles in parts of Westmoreland and Hanover. There are so many trucks on the road, you know, that you know it, the trucks are like the bike taxis. Every week there's five new trucks and I'm estimated you have 100 water trucks in this community. They are also in high demand. From private people, hundreds of call, man. Mm -hmm. Hundreds of call a day. Yeah, man. Stakeholders say trucking water is now the fastest way to earn big money. Oh. Businessmen from as far as Kingston are also cashing in. The trucks run day and night, sometimes until the wheels fall off, literally. But some are convinced there's a sinister side to the water trucking business. My fear is if it is allowed to be entrenched and become a culture in this community and then it starts to spread eastward, you're going to yes, the problem or start of the problem. We asked the NWC and political leadership about the claims of corruption in distribution or tampering with water supply sources. I've heard such rumors. We do need a little bit more than rumors. What I can hear such rumors. I hear them talk. Ignorance, you know. Rumors say is that if there are persons doing so and persons have evidence of that, we would be happy to have it reported to us and we'll have the police deal with it. I have contacted uh, the ASP in charge of the Negril Police Station, which these reports are coming from. Um, I've informed them of what I've heard 
um, the police and the security forces are looking to ways they can include some of these uh, possible um, locations into their patrolling. How much truth is there to some of the information we're getting that there are some truckers and even some other unscrupulous persons who are tampering with NWC lines in an attempt to boost their business during this water crisis? Well, our records show that currently there's only one licensed trucks that have been sterilized by the NWC that operates privately in this location. But on one trip to Negril from Savlamar, I counted 17 trucks. And from Negril to the Hanover border, I counted another 14. That's 31 trucks. But between the NWC and the health department, they confirmed only 13 certified trucks. These truck men are selling $7 million worth of water daily, and you're looking at about $2.5 billion worth of water annually. And you need to fix the price for water. A truck man should not be selling a truckload for more than $15,000, and this will guarantee him a $750,000 profit at the end of the month. My God, why is the truck man charging $40,000 for one truckload of water and bankrupting an entire community? It is why the government is being advised to immediately send in specially trained personnel. And I would suggest to the Prime Minister, send down a 12-man military um, from the Engineering Corps and help the National Water Commission people to police the trucks and police the valves and police the hydrant. Under the law, persons are allowed to extract and use water without a license if it is required only for domestic use and if he or she has a right of access to the source of the water. O'Neill is in the latter position. He says he allows persons to access water for domestic use from the Cabarita River via so, I'm going to move that again now, right? I'm going to play something and they will attack. So, the government declared so they have emergency money now, you know, after the election, you know, because all of a sudden, some people have the water and them tap. But the water, they know the line, same way, you know, because they full the truck from the water commission thing, right? Some of them, a couple of them get it from the river. Some of them, you know. The government said they have the $150 million emergency money. But tell me what, who them pay that money? I couldn't the truck man because the people them have to buy the water see me ratty. Them have chopped the money, brother. You see, Dratty? You mm -hmm. see, Maria? Where the money go? Where the 150 million gone? Plus, them have some other money where them, them have say emergency. Plus, them have the black tank. You want to know what them do with the black tank? Look here. Look here. Wickedness can done. On a help me count. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I want to ask the JLP councillor for the Little London Division, Ian Miles, and the Member of Parliament, more or less, Wilson. How the car wash across from the Jamaica Labour Party office, the constituency office in Mango Hall in Little London. Mm. How the car wash get 10 water tanks. How the car wash get 10 water tank. I want more or less Wilson and Ian Miles to answer me and tell me how the car wash get 10 water tanks we have citizens suffering out there it's not said them put that this that in know. 10 labor right house in you know, our 10 labor right yard it's the car wash we are wash car hmm. in front of the labor party office right beside the labor party office of 10 brand spanking new water tank where poor people forget i want to explain it to me Explain it to every citizen of Westmoreland. Uh, explain it to the tax. No, but Bratty and Maria, me not lie, you know, this look like a sore eye around Jamaica, you know. I want them put some other tank I'm going to ask the government if them get any fear for like Cherry Gardens and like, I want to see them up at Beverly Hills too, you know. I want to see them tank here. I want to see if they take them and put them on their whole stop and line it half up there. How it's going to look? Because I mean, they say it's going to look bad for the landscape. If you have water in the, in the top, build the reservoir like when we see them doing a key man. And if you have water, even when even when you have hurricane, can't lock off the, them reservoir, keep water clean, the water running in your pipe. 
We don't have no black tank, boy. We don't have no tank. We live in a civilized country. We don't have no tank. What do you have any tank for you, sir? Eh? No. <laughs> so, so you have full of country, them big old black tank. Yeah. It, I'm at a fuck it never safe. Because we have, when everybody have a tank like this, when you have a reservoir, you know, we know it more secure. It harder for your pies in the water. But any one of them one tank, me have a one tank and a man like him can go pies in my water, don't it? I throw anything dirty in my water. Because the top can just easy what me, you know. Eh? How this go? Especially in a ghetto. And then when you give the people them the tank like this, what it? Oh, you fool it because you have to pay for the chuck water then. That means the government plan with them chuck. I know for them have chuck including vase and the wife, you know. Enough woman, you know. So them plan for run a chucking business now for come full tank for you. Instead they get water in your pipe. And instead of them run pipe. This is a high sewer, brother. Yeah? Look, look for the next one, yeah. Look here. Look for the yard, yeah. You see what they do with the black tank? Yes, here. PNP caretaker, next member of parliament for Western Westmoreland. I don't like to come on here and discuss things that are disturbing, but sometimes it is so wrong that you have to discuss it. And you have to cry shame on it. So, I want to have a talk with the JLP councillors and the JLP member of parliament. I want to have a conversation with them. You see the water tanks that the JLP government given to give out? Stop giving one person five. Uno stop it. Uno stop it. It's not right. If you look in this one person yeah, they have two hook up already. I uno still give him five. Uno do even pick five labor right, extra labor right to give one, one, one. And pick five extra labor right for them get one, one each. Uno give one person an extra five. And the people them are selling it. It's a it's a damn shame. This person have two in him yard hook up already. And we wanna give him an extra five. Sat that the whole yard full. And him sell some of them. And I go and call on the government, you know. I go and call on the government. If you no go and give out the water tank them, don't send it to people yard for them give it out. Don't send those that are connected to you. This you saw you saw the you saw the tank or them take up the water your back of your yard and still no rat it. Now I move them now when I can move on now. Come on, go show you some things now. This government is a is a way of chopping money. Because the man, them, you remember the other day, them that come up with car seat. That reverse, that backfire upon them. So they come up with water tank. The government, we have 50,000 water tank. You know, scarce water. Water not scarce. We don't know no river down the dry up. No way over Jamaica and the river dry up. So all the, the, the water commission supposed to do is, is do them work, put in bigger men, and make people have water. You can't talk about first world country and thing like this, man. Key man. One little place so gone, them their leader will by far. By far. You know, sister so Peter Pena go and ratty. And Maria. You ratty. Look. While you talk, I pull up the 2016 JLP manifesto. Mm. And then my section. You know what the section call? Water. 2016. 2016. And I'm going to just read you some of the things after the 2016 one. It says, quite simply, water is life. Too many homes and farms are deprived of this precious commodity. And it says, we have made significant improvements in Jamaica's storage and distribution systems before. And we will do it again. This is 2016. They said, we, they said, we, the JLP, we improve the distribution and also the storage. And the, the essence of that is that somebody has come and mash it up and they say, but we will do it again. So let's see if they did it again. Yeah. First thing they said, they said they're going to invest in increased water production by building new water treatment plants. They're going to be doing deep water drilling in the hills and they will be bringing water from the north coast where it is abundant to the south coast where the larger part of our population 
resides. So like you were saying, the pipe, the piping system, because Jamaica mm -hmm. is 144 miles long by yes. about 50, 60 miles wide, yeah. right? We don't see none of that. Right? But let's let's give them the benefit of the doubt. This is 2015, 16. 2016, before them coming forward. This is, them, so these are the promises we're going to give you. Mm. They said they're going to encourage rainwater harvesting in rural drought-prone areas. They're going to increase reliable supply of water to 95% of the homes in urban areas. Yeah. And in rural areas, they're going to re re they're going to increase it from 60% to 85%. And they're going to rehabilitate the sewage collection system below crossroads and expand sewer collection in the suburban area, including Introduce sewage collection systems in high population areas like Spanish Town, Sablamar, blah, blah, blah. Now, you did something one time where you showed sewer water come up out of the hospitals downtown, right? Yeah, I'm not just no, downtown, no, even the market. Well, I'm, I'm just knock it, we knock it same time. Politicians doing a great job. Look at the road. Look at the condition of the road in Coronation Market, out of Kingston. Eh? I'm not giving myself a raise up on the road. We don't have nowhere for work. We don't have nowhere to drive up on the road. Eh? I wanna give myself a raise, brother. Something as simple as that. Look at that. Eh? The mega a downtown. Where people come and buy them vegetables and stuff. Is this sanitary? Is this good? Eh? I won't complain and I say we love complain. Judge us. Yes, right. <laughs> so night as a top me not kitten, okay? You know where we're going to run here now. Oh, like, so, um, we're going to talk to Nakit. So, we're going to promise. We're going to promise this. Yes. Yeah, we're going to love complete. No. Correct me if I'm wrong. We used to work at West Street and West Green Street, which is a few blocks from Coronation Market. And yes. to the best of my recollection, that is below Crossroads. Yeah, right? of course. And this is what them say. Them say, we are going to, which part is there? Rehabilitate the sewage collection system below crossroads, right? And that's that's sewer, sewage, right? <laughs> and it <laughs> and it art, right? <laughs> no, these are the things that were said in 2016. So you can, when somebody say, "Look, I promise to do the following things," then you, you can say, "Okay, all right, you promise to do it." Now, make we go to 2020. I hear what them say. Mm -hmm. In a 2020, 2016, hold on. 2020. All right. Give me a second. There. Um, I'll find it at the water section. Cause them, 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 them good pan, pan um, promising, promising yeah. people. Thing, yeah, you know. yeah, them, them good pan that. Um, yes, yes. But, but you're going, you're going dead with laugh when I read. There's one bullet point out there. Yeah, Maria going. Yeah. No, so don't, make sure not man on the seat belt in the car. <laughs> this one, yeah. No, believe me when I tell you, say this one is going to be a problem for you. This, as is that say, the one is going to um, mash up your head, right? All right, here we go. Um, infrastructure. Um, all right, here we go. It says here, right, that they're going to revise the national drought management plan. We never know them have one, but them say they're going to revise This is 2020 now. Them say they're going to revise it. Right. Mm -hmm. Um let me let me let me pick up the screen here. All right. Uh hold on. All right. The more revise the drought management plan to mitigate against the impact of drought conditions. Keep in mind this is 2020. Remember the promises in 2016? Mm -hmm. Now we're up to 2020. Then they said they're gonna do more rainwater harvesting capacity, and schools will be involved. <laughs> They you know, they run out of idea. But that, brother, not my words. <laughs> not my words. Not my words. They said they're gonna do the re rehabilitation and maintenance of community catchment tanks. You know, in the community, we have catchment yes, tanks. Yes, catchment tank. Yeah, me know. Eh. Like the right. one where. When you say the community catchment tank, like the one where, 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 with bug life, where the community bug life catchment tank, mm -hmm. bug life, yeah, yeah man. Yeah, man, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, what them say, um, municipal corporations or communities themselves will assume responsibility of maintaining these systems. Drinking water supply from rainwater harvesting system should be treated or filtered to meet world standards before it is considered. Catchment tank, you say. Yeah, the community want that. Okay. Nothing. Yeah. Like Buck life won't do, you know. Yeah. 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 Is the counselor up on the condition of the catchment? This is the only source of water for the people in Simon, Simon District, Clarendon, Bug Life constituency. What's on the condition of the yeah, for Bug Life? Catchment. Where Simon people. Get water, we drink. What's the condition? What's the condition? Yes, I'm going to that. Look there. What's the condition? I'll catch me. Simon people. Because they know they're not. They don't know what they're saying. Because they vote. They vote sure what they're saying. Because they can't pipe. Come on, rock up. Because they don't know what they're saying. After election, we need to send truck. Don't take up the pipe. The pipe, eh? But the condition of the church is the church of the heart. Okay. Bug life, constituency, this. Okay. This is Bug life, life constituency. And you, mm. uh, Mitchell, the Romed councillor. What's the condition of the church, man? In this part of the district in time So, you know, I go around it all, but this is the catchment tank where you are at now. Remember what we keep right. on it in a bug life one day now. All right. You see, a bug life forget the letter from you there, Ati. <laughs> Don't forget the last suit. Him see him, man. I feel him think this, so him left it. Yes. <laughs> so, them go on to say, um th th that they will ensure that all a l l not some all rural spaces and places have access to water for life and livelihoods all that's what them say all right and them go on, them say we will we will accelerate the provision of water to rural communi communities through the development of 30 rural projects all across jamaica providing piped water to some 60,000 residents, as well as develop 40 catchment tanks, right? Um, and the rehabilitation of over 30 more. And they will build all kinds of stuff. No, here's another one. Um, they said they're going to replace the, to the replacement of the current infrastructure. They're going to replace, to include transmission mains and pipes, as well as replace the transmission main uh spanish town road from six miles in south camp road to south camp road in kingston to improve potable water supply to communities adjoining this major thoroughfare i don't think them do that um innovative way to expand water access and them going on that. but here is one here's the one that i, I really want i really want you and sis listen to this one it says there the bullet point says development of desalination plants yes it is. <laughs> <laughs> this is 2020 that's what i'm saying right so, i'm gonna read you what i'm gonna read you what i'm saying mm -hmm. wow. development of desalination plants for drinking water supply in coastal cities to expand the options for water access in jamaica more specifically listen carefully this will begin with the upgrading and expansion of the ferry desalination project, which will seek to harness up to 10, whatever it is, from the brackish ferry springs at Moses Lake. Now, the herbalist went and did some research, and he said, this was something that was discussed a long time ago, and it never got off the ground. 
But if you read what they're saying, they say, we have a diesel plant in Jamaica, man. We have one. So them, them look upon you now and say, well, loan some of talk about. We have a diesel plant, Ferry Springs, we have a talk about. I'm going to say that. <laughs> yeah, look for it. You see, he's a potential chair like you look for it. Yeah, because we know, 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 we we know, 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 we then here's another one. Um, sewage and wastewater treatment services. And, and it goes on and on and on and on and on. The point of the matter is this. Promises, promises. Which country manifests? <laughs> uh, Andrea asked her which country manifested that. that that's the, our government's manifesto, 2016. It's online. Look, check it out before they move it. You know, because the other day we had look for it and then they move it. Yeah, them, yeah, them, yeah, can I listen to it? Them go move it right now. Yeah, 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 Okay, okay. In February 2020, the same time them just made the last promises. Right, the Gleaner did something called JLP 2016 10 point manifesto were promises kept. And them, them specifically talk about the water one, right? Let me let me let me let me get to that there. Um let me see. Turn uh start junior market. Comment All right. Here it is. Status. Number five. Listen carefully, you know. Not my words. <laughs> <laughs> Not my words. The Gleaner, the Gleaner went back and said, we're going to look at the 2016 water plan. And we're going, we're going, we're going to look at it and see if them deliver. Number five. Here's what it says. It says, fix Jamaica's water infrastructure and make strategic capital investments in water. The investment in water will reduce the impact of drought on the economy and will boost agriculture and housing commission. Right? That's the promise. Mm -hmm. Now, here's what the Gleaner, in their investigation, what they said. Development plans were announced by the National Water Commission, but no major water project commission outside of the corporate area. None. Not my words. Ah, ah. Remember, we have in Pam video too. I say them have over 300 housing solutions start up. You know why it's not done? Water. We mm -hmm. going to fix that and for all. We are going to get because I'm always a matter of fact. In promise with the water, the utility, in promise to light to you know, for end light poverty, you know, poverty. So Yes. The first one you show with the water with the with the with the gentleman with the pond, the river and all, that was what Negril, that was that Westmoreland. Westmoreland, yes. And him said that the MP in um the, the, the council name Ian Miles yes. and the and MP the name MP, more or less MP. Wilson. More yes. or less Wilson. Well, that yes. is what we're getting, more or less incompetence. That's what we're getting. Yes. That's what we're getting. Yes. You so know. when them start the Norati, we want to know who the government buy the black tank from. Which one of them own that was carrying them black tank there? Them are made right. billion. If, them black tank they value a couple hundred million over a billion dollar. You know? And at them have it, you know, same like how you have General Rice. Sorry, Marie, me have to call out General Rice. Here. Same like how we have General Rice. <laughs> Marie, artist, you know. Like how we have General Rice. The people them carrying black tank and have full the place with black tank. Maria, me have to carry, me have to carry in general rice, you know. But them are going bad. Yes, sis. You, you are rushing me to leave my artist alone, okay? Stop it. They're going short. Oh, no, but seriously, though. Um, I'm thinking about the black tanks and the, if the, the health risks involved. Because normally, with, with regular plastic bottles, when they say you buy the re so those so re recycled, um, the bottled water, they say, you know, not to heat it up, not to put it in the refrigerator. There are certain things that come with it because it, when you heat it up or when you put it in, in, the, in the freezer or something, it activates certain chemicals in the plastic itself. 
and so microplastics come from it. So I'm thinking about these drums, these black tanks, and what when it is heated, what effects does it what effect does it have on the water inside of it, and how that water now affects the people who use the water? Because I would think that those water tanks, and not only that from whom did they purchase these tanks because that also has to be factored in there because if they were made in china we have to be concerned about that given the fact that anything that comes out of china is always questionable because everything is mass produced but not to the best not to the highest of standards and who owns these trucks is it a member of parliament a minister of government a friend of theirs a relative of theirs because if the government doesn't own it, then somebody is profiting off people's pain. And that is rather unfortunate and very sad. And I'm listening to Rafigan read out the 2020 manifesto and the part about the desalination of the water. Right. That sounds like a copy and paste from the Cayman situation, the Cayman um, program, because it basically outlines exactly what is being done in Cayman right now. So that sounds more like a copy and paste than an original idea. And since they have that, Cayman has this program going, why not partner with them to have the same thing done to benefit the people? Because then you would have a situation where the NWC, the government, would be in charge of this program. Right, so you would not have a you wouldn't need any black tanks because they're that constant source of water. Farmers would benefit, schools would benefit, everybody would benefit. So for them not to partner with Cayman shows the short sightedness of the government because this is a program that should be in should be up and running in Jamaica, but the corruption and if somebody has to benefit from it is a part of the problem, you know. But this is something that should have been done and can be done. And if they're willing to do it, they can they can do it right now. They can do it right now. They need the will to do so to do it. Mm. Mm. So Rati, as we said before, the government them run out and then say, you know, them have them have emergency money, 150 million. If the people don't pay for the water, Rati and Maria, them have pay for them water, 40,000 per chuck. Why the government has said them like are them a peer feed so the people them forget it free don't yeah, where them get the money they are doing it they are paying for the truck water they're paying for the truck water and keeping the water bill and there's no water in the pipe so where do they get the money from to be paying to be buying water and turn around and pay a water bill that makes no sense really because so, like the government that pay the truck money the yeah so where the money i go Mm -hmm. Where the money going? So one of them answer this because the money them are scam here. That are chopping money. And by the way, as I said before, here man, out there so them not have no river or nothing at all. Them not depend on the rain. Them have to use salt water. Jamaica, we not see none of the river them are dry up. The, a, millions of, of gallons of water waste every day. Don't just one half. Them not dry up. Yeah? So when the man I get up and say something, so see there, them say, Cabarita River at 39.7 kilometer long. You understand? Yeah? No, no, I don't think at the longest river. Check Black River and put it up. Put up Black River. But that long still, but put up Black River. Check Black River right the now. Raya Cove. What about the Raya Cove? I think it's the Raya Cove. It's long too. Right? All of these rivers, what go out of them, 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 them long. Come from far. Check Google Black River and put it up. Yeah? Look at Black River. Right? So Jamaica can run out of water, you know. Jamaica can run out of water, you know, Ratty. Jane, I just them know with them black tank, I put it all over the place. But me not see none up in a cherry garden. All them, not, all them have water the same way. Two them live on the hill, them should have run out of water then. And them should I get the most black tank up there, you know. Front of them house and pan them house stop, you know. Oh, no, no, guy up there, black and ratty. Oh, them not keep black tank. It's a good question. You know why? Well, it's a good question, but we know the answer. Yeah, I'm good. Because what I do, they value them place and it's not going to look good for them. You know, for them eyesight. Correct. Eh? What if them for full up on the hill, the Beverly Hills and the whole place with, with black tank? Eh? 
Because, but these are the and yeah, but them for full of them man. Just pack them up up there. Pack them up up there. See? <laughs> this too bad, man. It's very bad. Because you take the country you now and I take it black time from them friends where them are chat money as a government. And by the way, that means the chuck them is a permanent thing now, right? Because if you put in them black tank there, you know, some people might not have the one of the money for go food, but you, when you put in them black tank here, yeah, that means you have to go buy water. That will oh. make it them, them get emboldened now and come sell your water each time it's done. Eh? And, and that is the that is the, the plan with them have. That is the plan with them have. So, oh, them think about it and say, it's easy. Water easy and... right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a 20 black tank does each up one place. It no look good. Better you build some reservoir in our place when it go a feed and it, it think that and think the feed go down and 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 deal with the people them thing more than you put in this bag a big black tank all over the place. Them are try to get rid of plastic but can I build some big old rusty black tank in a people face. It no look good, man. <laughs> and a first world country that. So they melt up the plastic you use make black tank and you carry it in all of the place with the black tank. Eh? When it, the water sun at it up, then it cool out, then it at up again. That doesn't make no sense. Eh? Yes, Rati. No, you're absolutely correct. And so what happened? You see, the, the black tanks now, they're going to use that. Um, all the plants where them have, where them have to dig and lay pipes and do all that stuff. No, them don't have to do it because them say, hey, you have you have you have the tanks. So we just <laughs> got the tanks. So we don't have to spend the money and <laughs> dig up the road and, and put pipes and and do all the other things where we where, you know where, where we should have do. And it, look, the water issue is a big, big issue. And shame on the minister for not addressing this problem. And you can't address it flying in a helicopter. You have to address it when you roll up your sleeves and you, you, you come in at the community and you sit down and you talk to people and you get your team in and then you go to work. That's how you address problems. Flying over and looking and examining the problem. You don't need to do it. Because I still my watch TV. Yes, the same, yes. thing MC, MC, same thing MC from there. The TV, uh, uh, the, 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 the broadcast, them show it. So, why, well, brother? So in, yeah, in Mr. Pride, G, this is going backwards for sure. Yeah, because this is not good. Herb T, bless up yourself. Yeah, so Herb. <laughs> Herb T. The great Herb T there. No, it's that Herb T from Florida. Oh, I think Herb T. Come and see. No, Herb T, Herb T, him same. Yeah, him text me. Him text me. Yeah. All right. Yeah, him text me. I think got Herb T. Yeah, man. Yeah. So right now we know. Right, right. Police, but he's a fire with the one you know, you know. But let me tell you, it's a zero you get, you know. You <laughs> and you and J jacket. But a zero when you get. When you get zero. Remember them did have him did have a minister said them like a wee wee in a hose, you know. And that thing I give people now, you know. You remember, you remember Queen, Queen has said them for wee wee in a hose and give people more water and all kind of things. This is what the man them come with. Now have no respect neither. Eh? Right now, I chop them, I chop the money because they're millions of dollars. They chop them, I chop it. Who getting the money? You know what I mean? Remember before, before we move on, I'm going to move on to your favorite person, you know, Rati. But before I move on to your favorite person, I'm going to play this you now because I want you big. Hear this, Rati. The same black tank. Hear this. Hear this. The, the lady who make me get the tank said, the gentleman said, make sure where they have vote. The, who are getting tank make sure they're in the back of 100%. You see me? Oh, so, oh, so, oh, so, oh. so, the lady will give the tank, the gentleman tell us to make sure when they have vote, you're in the back of 100%. So, you get a tank, and then for work and watch it, you can't watch the man where you have vote for. You, 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 all that are foolish, you see now. Eh? Front of people, aye. I saw me know, me, oh, before we go to your favorite person, because she was a mashup right now in a ratty. We know, we know, we know business. I see if we get mashup, she had this way. Yeah? She had, no man, she had this way. She, she had one like she wants style. She forgot catch. Okay? But ratty, what I think near Mocha, Jamaica, is when you Google Mocha, it tells us that they are the first, them, them are independent in a law enforcement, but then a club run it, the Minister of National Security. Them use same police and them use soldier at the head for that. 
Yes, still a one commissioner. Them not independent, brother. They are not. Mm -hmm. Them dependent. I'm at a fact, them not the same building with, with eye probe and them people that are at it. The same yes. building, them in a. Them in the towers, the, the, uh, yeah. NCB towers. Yeah. Yes, NCB towers. So them, them not. And, and, and by the way, them say them mandate are like for investigate all kind of things. Why? When the prime minister, before him said, don't you ramp with Zion, or him not declare something, why them not investigate him? Why in a 2020, 2022, 2021, when he when moved him money, Ratty, why them never go and seize something from the Prime Minister or, or them charge him for something? Because he knows straight in that. And that them, them mandated for do. Oh, I mean, I see them charge no big boys. Oh, them not charge nobody from Coke Port and, and them just silent. You know, see them a waste of money, them a waste man. Look, the, the, uh, and, and, you have to blame, you have to put blame where blame is. You have to blame as much as, you know, I know him, Peter Bunting, you have to blame him because him set it up and him say, I'm going to make it FBI style, right? Mm. Never have no FBI input into it and him set it up. And when him set it up, who, who was, who, 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 who's in charge of it? It's a military guy him put in charge of it. I don't remember his name. Yeah, and, a military guy. Uh, yeah, I met with them, and you know that mm -hmm. them have a consultant. You know him come from England, a white guy. Mm. In the behind the scenes, we meet him. How that possible? With all the Jamaicans where you have, yeah, all the Jamaicans where you have. Tell me something. Let me ask you something. Like you know where. Got it from the FBI, we a master in the FBI. Go through the whole thing. And the like local police just come and you go chat to local police and sing with local police. Yeah, if you don't have no one database and one want things and uno do no one investigation. One do listen to the same local um police commissioner, him come rule you know, and, and have chat over you know, like Google guy have chat over them. It don't make no make sense. Eh? Mm -hmm. It don't make no make sense. No. And then no. the governor rule you know. No, when I come under federal law. Look, right? I, tell you, I, I tell you, you see, Herb Nelson, I don't think we give him enough credit as we should. And people don't understand how experienced that man is. But Herb would have been perfect for that job. Herb Nelson would have been perfect. Even if they want to use a military man. But look, at look, look it, it stands for wait, major organized crime. Don't tell me what the military guy who in charge of it. We know about organized crime. He won't go no for protect. I'm not a fucking care for protect Jamaica from from Haiti. And that's not no right. disrespect, sir. But you feel them training with them get up for earth the own Jamaican people. Them make deployment in a Jamaica, not out. Yeah, you and, 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 and that's and, the truth. No care, yeah, yeah, them type of big general lampile and Google. What them do outside? What them do? Them won't go going and get up, not even uptown, you know. In the ghetto. So they may not read that they may have plastic swords of them to man. Herb, they are real swords, you know. Herb, they are real swords. But what on it? That are not even in, in mandate. The mandate is, for, is to investigate major organized crime, right? Why am I going investigate? The, right. And the soldier not have the soldier man not no. have no experience in that area. No. Back of field, war. He not have no experience on that. You know who the you, um let me say um Sylvan Sylvan Hayes him now in charge of FID yes right um yeah he was at the meeting too but I think him did come from JCF right I don't think he was at um I don't think he was at the him, him, him was ever part of Mocha maybe he was maybe he wasn't but then bring out a white man I'm gonna talk to the man and the man say yeah I came here from England and him say him come from England and him did a thing. I came from the UK. I did it for a while, and them just and them come as a as a as a consultant, and them just move them over here. So and them a collect big money, and me I say, look, you bring a man who no understand, him no understand the culture, him no understand the landscape, him no understand everything. Have to be catered for him. When you use a man like Herb Nelson, you don't have to cater nothing for him. It's yeah, a natural fit. Not the style, yes. It's a natural fit, mm -hmm. and that is. But that is how that is that is that is how we think. You know, we think that. No matter how much our people 
get the experience and educated that a white man can come in and provide information and we listen to him and a lot of times our people are trained the white man will come there but them don't know exactly exactly right again because i was about to say that majority of the time the white man is less qualified than the black person but the Jamaicans have this mentality where they're they're um they're excited when they see especially a white person you know it's like yes he has to know better just by virtue of the color of his skin even though that black person even sir though sir herb by miles is way more qualified than that that person it doesn't matter to them and it, it affects it's not only at the lower level it goes all the way up through the ranks even into the government the political level, even the business class where they have more respect for anyone who does not look like them or does not come from their um their community you, which you is know, rather unfortunate you know one time right we this was back in about 2017 2018 we had a we had a, a project with our work on right the cyber project with jamaica and we invited the police banking industry a whole bunch of people and we we are going down there to do a presentation to them and you know one of the one a man down there who was part of the, the, the set up set up things down there for you know him say him say when you come make sure you bring a white man you know never forget it him say make sure when you come you know, bring a white man because we don't uh, we want white people for talk we, we know we know really you know you know me i say it look nice when you have a white man up front that talk i just shake me that's why you know well, that's how it go. <clears throat> and, and the reverse of that, Ratigan, look at the reverse of that, is that black people in a predominantly white society have to work 10 times as hard to be in that position as a white person. And then when you work and you have the necessary qualifications and you go back into your society that is predominantly black, you still are treated like an underdog. Mental like slavery. Is mental, mental, mental slavery. slavery. Yeah. Yeah. But again, 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 let me tell you something now. As we just say that, can we go back to this? But as we just say that, when we just say mental slavery with the police, we have to bring up, we have to bring up Chairman James. Can I have a boot him in? I'm a car pan Sykes. <laughs> what, I know, what I'm a man, I'm serious, you know. What are the ones? Well, 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 eh? well, well, we can't make this go. Andrea, we bring on a guest. Not too long ago, I'm sure, right? And he was saying that Mar Maria will get rid of that. He said, We are actually white, you know. So, <laughs> so Andrea said, No, man, you're white, right? Here. <laughs> Remember, I said, Oh, no, white. So, you can't complain. I said, No, can't complain. Because white. You know? the man is from explicit. You remember this name of the show, Maria? I was I was happy to see you and to see that you're still black. <laughs> but, but I'm sorry to interrupt. Yeah, 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 yes. So me have me go me go touch um me go touch James do Ruan James. Cause them are angry about and them are play some political football with him you now. Him they do not know you know. But what them do them throw away the police them the good police them. Yeah, and what you mean, like how him did stand up for the rank and file and stand up for the people of Jamaica. You know, when you watch more than one of them video, them in the marriage that talk about the citizen and the rank and file. But them up there, so they might play political football with him career. And we are called out to Brian Sykes. Yeah, because tell me what now. You have some people are discussing him. You know. Remember me at the winning? You know? And people remember when you know, when you always look upon all the bulb and look upon the little thing, then they kind of for the thing then. Remember, I have to set, set them up in there. I have to tell Ratty, after we set them up and say, Ratty, yeah. But if we set up a couple of them and catch some people in the ark, you know. You understand? So when we go there and call Ron James, then we're here too. And we are, we are speak out to make him hear because them, uh, the chairman shit them a move from him in Ratty. And it's a political thing them are going with, you know. Yeah? And the judge, listen, the judge them, lie and, and other people and, and politicians. The whole of them involved in the racket to take him down. And they need to stop this man. See? So we are watching what they are doing. I'm here. 
and then we have a blast. And by the way, you and James, if you listen to me, I better run on a program like this and I'll come blast them, you know. Then you want man in a man, you have pull your one door, you know. You can't worry about nothing now from Google, dead until Google to take over at the same thing. You can't hold back on them. Where are Serati? You know, the the um them them send him home, right? And them go court. And, it, and and if you if to go back, them send him home. Why them send him home? Because the man was very vocal for his people. Remember now, as the Federation chairman, him represent about 90, what, 95, 96% of the force, right? And there was a problem. And people need to understand this because some people, if, if you come in at the middle of the story, you won't really understand it. And so you will hear the speeches and then you will say, no, I'm rude and this and that. No, but you need to understand the story. What happened was that a court, they went to court because the men and women of the JCF, they were not being paid accurately and they were not being paid on time for overtime because it was a manual system. So they went to court and the court ruled in March of 2022 that the JCF must put a, a system in place so that people could be so that the policemen and women could be paid on time and accurately and they gave them one year to do it. So it, would, it, it was supposed to have been completed, I think, March 31st and be operational April 1st, the start of the fiscal year, right? Because, you know, Jamaica fiscal year ends March 31st, yes. start April 1st. I wonder why they pick April Fool's Day. I don't mean, know, but I just said that. And <clears throat> so then the Minister of Finance and the Public Service, the Honorable Dr. Nigel Clark, he provided the funds for the system to be to be built or, or installed. And that was supposed to have been done last year. And it wasn't done. So the chairman asked them have meetings and, and it still wasn't done. So then, it, it, you know, and him start get pressure now from, from the people him represent. I said, wait a minute, you know, you, 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 you know, the court order there, so what you are do about it and things like that. So, you know, him never need any prodding because he knew what, what they were doing was wrong. He knew that, that they're supposed to put the system in place. It wasn't put in place. So then it get to the point now where frustration start build up. But what we mustn't overlook is the truth. Is the truth, right? And that's what he was talking about. And you know how it goes sometimes when you talk truth to power, them them just retaliate and that's exactly what they did to him they retaliated and them said basically it was conduct unbecoming of, of his position and, and he said and them sent him home he, he appealed and the court said no put him back there right and then at the, the, the 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 court of appeal them said no send him home let me play yo yo with the man right no him file a, a action him file a, him file an injunction Right, and the injunction we file it would be what we call in America like a preliminary injunction. And basically, what it says is that look, I'm being hurt, I'm being damaged, and court, if you don't do something about it, the damage could be irreparable. So, you need to step in and temporarily put a fix to this right now, and then we we'll deal with it later on. And a, per, a temporary injunction is different from a permanent injunction. Permanent injunction is where the court come out now and get a final judgment about the matter and say, okay, you know, it's this or it's that. But the temporary injunction is to is to hold things in place, just so they, they put him back, and then you get to the permanent injunction. And guess what? I know, I know the court no rule upon it, and it did for quite a while. So there is no rush to provide justice to this man, and we need to come out and speak about this because he was fighting a righteous fight, right? And they showed him indignity and sent him home. because. Of my, but it just goes to show what happens in Jamaica when you stand up, you know? And especially when you stand up and you don't have people are back you. I wish the Federation, they would have come out and back the man. You know, the members, them. But you see what them do? Them try, they move him. Them, them say them have election. Them put yeah. some new people in. And then promote him Gensec. So the Gensec gone. And them send him home. And then replace them with two different people who don't have the same spirit, the same zeal, the same mandate, like the, gen, the former Gensec and 
uh, 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 um, Chairman Ron James. So it's a, it's a disservice. It's a disservice. It's a disservice. But here this narrative. And, 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 and Ron James, if you are watch right now, well, I know say Google to one the one of them I watch. So you are more likely I watch too. Right? If you are watch right now, I know you are watch. Can Google to them I watch and fix the other one I watch. So well, I don't know why I'm doing injustice. You could just talk to them now. Right? And so I have to talk to them, you know. Can you know Google too, right, Tati? You know Google too. No, no, no. <laughs> you don't know Google too. No. I'm not sure you Google too. You have Google Gaga, you know, but you have Google too. Then take a comment, you know. So they have Google too. Now. No, is that. Hold on, man. I'm to the tricycle. You know, I'm to Google Gaga, man. I'm going to come back. I can't leave. I'm going to leave for my term. I'm going to you know. But no, then give me Google too still, so. I kind of feel, because I'm the best when Google does get up so we don't remove him. Yeah? But no, then give me a Google too. You come and attack foolishness. The one of them gang up and a, and a, and a, and a deal with Carpal Juan James. But here this is what I want, this is what I want to say to Juan James. You see, in your executive way they have, you might have feel everybody all right, but just let them know that feels everybody all right when you do a work because you have enough people to buy your work for money. And that's the truth. See? So when you feel say them all right, and because them did all right and all right, nobody couldn't okay. tell them. Them just say, yo, we not even run for the office and nothing, it have to remain the same. And them are stand up with you and push you through. But you have some, them, them are back and belly rat and all kind of things. All them are doing, you know, um, step, step in your shoulder and sink, you know. Them no good. All them are watch me too. Uno no good. Nobody can trust you. Know. You understand? That it no good. Because if the world are winning one thing in a rat, me, you, Herb, Maria, there is nobody on this face of this earth. Well, them know we can rat here, there, you know, you know. Because you see, when we are doing things, you say, we want to free with people them from the evil bandage, from fear, fear, and your fear, and, and, the evil, and the evil forces. Let me tell you, not even lie, gel. When if no can come, come call or you come on the program, you can come. But remember that can't move me because remember me is not a flip flapper. Neither Ratty, neither Herb T, neither Maria. I need a fantastic five. So we're not do flip flapping around here. We don't do it. You understand? Because we're a real soldier, you know. Yeah, man, we're a real soldier, man. <laughs> you understand? A female soldier too. We're also a real soldier. We're a real soldier around here. You understand? So no flip flapping. Even if Maria. Send General Rice, come call me, like General Rice, come already. We now have flip flop. So, my thing to, to Carpal James is if you watch some people, you think, say, your colleagues, and you know, when you have these things going on, you know, them just see you, remember, in the position where you're there, some people want that position, you know. So, all them are green teeth and attack with you. If them never want it, all them have the respect. Nobody will not run for that, and no guy up there, so couldn't move you. Me, I tell you that. You understand? All I mean, I tell you that. Because of yeah. the way, way it is, them couldn't come to me and say, I say, no, we don't do that. And they'll come out, come talk. This are just me. This are Ratty, this are just me. You have to keep it real around here. But them never read because them want him job. Can't be trusted, man. Yes, Ratty, I'm Maria. No, no um, go ahead, Maria. I'm just thinking about what they're doing to mm. But the court having ruled and said that they should send him back. And then turn around, rule and say, no, 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 send him home. It tells me that that's not an, a judiciary that is operating independently of the government that reeks of political interference because they're supposed to do things by the letter of the law. And I don't see why Chairman James is still in limbo for doing his job. And the person who is there now, have the situation that has the situation that Corporal James spoken about has it changed? Because if that if that person who is in his I think it's a woman, if she has not held the government's feet to the fire and continued where Corporal James left off, then it shows that he has been victimized and he's been pushed out, and they are just rubber stamping what the government says and not be able to fight on behalf of the rank and file. Because remember when he was at that funeral, you know, and he spoke, I mean, passionately about what was facing the rank and file. He knows it because he sees it on a daily basis. 
the commissioner doesn't see it, the minister doesn't see it, the prime minister doesn't see it, but he has to deal with it on a daily basis. I'm 100% sure that when an officer passes in the line of duty, he gets that call. He has visited many families. He sees the impact that it is having on his rank and file. He sees this impact it's having on his colleagues. So he, he gave a wide ranging, you know, speech addressing so many issues and for speaking his mind and standing up for the people that elected him to do his job, he is at home doing nothing. And it is very sad that good police are on the sideline. They either get um, sent away to different police stations for doing their jobs, or they just get put on the sideline like Chairman Jay. And that's why the police, the Jamaica Constabulary Force will never improve. It's not because they don't have qualified, honest people within their ranks. It's that, that when they speak up, they get there's retaliation coming toward them. And so that nobody wants to lose their job. Nobody wants to be sidelined and given half of their pay or part of their pay. And they have families to take care of. They have mortgages to take care, to take care of. So what do you think they're going to do? They're just going to go along to get along because they have to get that paycheck. So it's a situation of damned if they do and damned if they don't. Because when you look at the myriad of crime situations happening in Jamaica, from the highest level to the lowest level, for so just look at the highest level, for example, all those coke, um, drugs coming into the country, all those weapons coming into the country, and there's no, it's not that they don't know who is bringing it in, but nobody has been arrested for those things. Those are the things that they should be focused on and not punishing Corporal Jane for doing his job because they're not doing their job. And, it's, and like I said, again, it is not because they do not have the qualified people there. It's just that they're not willing to put their lives on the, their jobs on the line and they're with their families for standing up for truth and justice because doing so is going to cost them dearly and nobody wants to pay that price anymore. Yes, Rati. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, think they have a nice quote. Noel Thomas, scripture. Um, I, I remember I heard it. I heard uh, Well, I won't go into the details, but it's a, it's a nice scripture. I said, the arms of flesh will fail thee, and you dare not trust your own. And that is what happened to Chairman Ron James, because the Federation should have been behind him 100%, the members. And we don't see them coming out. We don't hear not even a peep from them. And this is a man who was fight. Look, he could have done like the other chairmen and chairwomen. Uh, I don't know if they are chairwomen, but he, he could have done like the other people and just sit there, buy them time, and just go along with the government program, right? And and they get a promotion out there and move on. But no, he said, no, this is wrong. We have to fight for the people them, so that them get them get what is due to them. And he do it on behalf of everybody. And look what happened. The arms of flesh feel him, right? And you have some um, police for Ratty. You know, when them get up and say, you know, we're coward, we don't want them to win and not scrap you if we talk. The whole lot of foolishness. The whole lot of foolishness. Yeah, good, good. Time, yeah, time. Yeah, well, well, you want, you want to, let me show you something there. Let me show you something. Um, Don James asked a, a good question in the um, chat. She was asking whether or not this would come under the, the DPP's jurisdiction. Don, no. The DPP is primarily concerned with criminal matters the yeah. attorney general is the one who represents the government and because because um because chairman ron james is suing the government the attorney general is representing the respondent and I, in fact i think the attorney general is also named in the lawsuit because you know by virtue of, of his position so um, just keep that in mind. If it's a criminal matter, it's going to be the DPP in general. And if it's a civil matter, it's going to be the Attorney General. Hope that answers your question. Okay, okay. All right, people. We are going to come back to Ron James now, but Dr. Rupert Francis Rich, Pandekar and all. So we're going to turn up the little more now because they're going to knock off us, you know? All right, so let me show this first. Let me show this. People remember, say, um, me at the 10th, we remember when I have come out in. We not joke with them, you know. Yeah, we not joke with them. This are, this are me at the 10th, right? Eh? Yeah, Jamaica Consulate. The yes, top of the branch, right? Me, yeah, me right at 10th, eh? no, it's at, 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 at Corner East 42nd Street and 2nd Avenue in Manhattan. 
in a Manhattan. Okay. Yeah, one Manhattan. block from right. the United. One block from the United Nations. Okay, up in a Manhattan. All yes. right. So you know, say we now come out, get them to come around now about this party. Yes. Um. Friday, May tenth. Uh. From nine a.m. to one p.m. We will be gathered in front of the Jamaican consulate. It's located at 300 East 42nd Street. But the entrance is on 2nd Avenue. But you can't miss it because once you get out, once you get to the location, you, you'll see the crowd. And the police, they're anticipating a huge crowd. So much so that they said um, they're not going to let us use the sidewalk. They're going to close off one lane of traffic so we can, we can, we can um, protest inside that one lane of traffic uh you saw we're protesting all of the problems you know crime corruption education health so on and so forth um we expect a large turnout and 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 we demand a large turnout because our voices must be heard because unless the good thing about it is that we're we're in the media capital of the world because right across the street, we're going to be in the middle of the street. And on one side of the street, you'll have the Jamaican consulate. And on the other side is WPIX, Channel 11, a major network. So, and then we're going to be putting out the press release the ne this week or next week. We're going to be sending out the press release to all of the major networks in New York, ABC, NBC, CBS, Fox, CNN, everybody will be getting it. Um, even the local channels, they'll be getting it. Some of them have received it already. We have the press release ready to go. We just have to tidy it up just a little bit more. And then we send that out. So we're expecting everybody to come out and voice their displeasure with what's going on. And this is going to be historic. It's going to be momentous. It's going to be epic because this has never happened in the history of Jamaica. Never in the history of Jamaica you have a group of Jamaicans, a diaspora, the diasporans. In fact, I'll tell you what, we have people coming from the UK to join us. We have people coming from Canada to join us. We have people coming from Jamaica to join us. We have people coming from Florida, Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, Maryland, D.C., Delaware, Jersey, Connecticut, uh, uh, um, uh, um, yeah, Jersey, Connecticut, Massachusetts, and we also have some people coming in from the Midwest. And I'm being told that we have people, one and two people, flying in from California. So it's going. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a, a, a representation right across the globe. All right? It's just today I talked to a virgin man from England. He said, "I am flying in on the ninth to come join or no." On the 10th, and then I'm flying back to the UK. So <laughs> it's serious business. Oh, the so, all right. So, I'm going to play this now, and then we are going to this. So, I'm going to play this where the foreign minister said, Dr. Francis Moore, you listen to you know. Maria Ratti, you want to listen to this. Foreign ministry claims deception with parallel diaspora conference. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade, FAFT, has cited what it is claiming to be unauthorized use of the ministry's 10th biennial Jamaica Diaspora Conference logo and images in the promotion of what has been referred to as a parallel diaspora conference. The ministry, in a statement on Friday evening, said the parallel event is being staged by a small group of individuals within the diaspora. The ministry expressed concern about what it said is the deployment of promotional material that bears a striking resemblance to the ministry's official communication for its conference which is scheduled for June 16th to 19th, 2024. The ministry said this parallel faction is clearly intended to sow confusion and mislead members of the diaspora. In elaborating, the fact... Let me just stop it a bit. So, a mislead and so resemble... We have, we, have, we have Dr. Rupert Francis here and everything, you know, we're going to straighten this. Yeah, and confuse, and, 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 and small member. Okay, let me continue that the purported parallel diaspora conference scheduled for the same period june 16th to 19th 2024 under the aegis of the jamaica diaspora crime intervention and prevention task force CIPF, is not in any way associated with the ministry and has been organized without any consultation or endorsement from the ministry 
nor the legacy partners or sponsors long associated with diaspora engagement. The ministry urged an immediate cessation of use of any material resembling the official promotional content of the MFAFT, especially those related to the 10th Biennial Jamaica Diaspora Conference. Such actions are misleading and undermine the government's engagement with the diaspora, constituting passing off, it said, adding that further use may prompt legal action from the ministry. You hear that? So, when I get last suit, you know, Dr. Francis, I start trembling yet? Hurry uh -huh. and, and, and tea, herb tea so forward. I'm not even going to start trembling yet. I'll, I'll check you again to you know, hold on. But hold on, hold on, but, um, but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold How yes. can they last with people who have no standing? What, hold on, what are you doing it, man? Hold on, what you are finished? You are ready for going on. Hold on, let's play it. <laughs> and claimed that, on its formation, the JTSIP was supported by the MFAF through its embassy and consulates in the United States. Wow. However, upon the 2019 decision of its then convener, Captain Rupert Francis, to change the agreed mandate of the organization from a task force to a crime prevention consultancy group, this organization, reportedly, lost most of its membership and credibility. The ministry you. also claimed that from then, the JTSIP no longer performed its agreed functions and, therefore, ceased to be associated with them faft it said the ministry therefore wishes to advise the public that the JTSIP does not act for or on behalf of or in support of or in any association with the government of jamaica nor are any of the events being promoted by the JTSIP in any way affiliated with or endorsed by the government of jamaica the release added that the ministry is also advised that neither the parallel conference event nor protest action that the ministry claimed is being organized by the JTSIP is being done in association with or with the support of the Global Jamaica Diaspora Council. The ministry said it is aware of personal grievances openly expressed by elements among the organizers of the parallel event towards the government of Jamaica, citing purported plans to protest against crime and corruption in Jamaica, which it said is within the context of the best scores issued by Transparency International having been received by the current government, and a notable 14% reduction in major crimes in the past year, coupled with a further 13% decline. Recorded. In the first quarter of 2024, signaling a continued positive trend in public safety. The ministry called for a concerted effort among Jamaicans in the diaspora to help curb the flow of illegal weapons, particularly from the U.S. to Jamaica. All right. Brat, I'm going to turn it over to you and then turn it over to Dr. Francis, you know. And then, Maria, but before we turn it over to you, let me tell you something coming here. Yeah. A chameleon, I want to call her. Got here for coming with a with a vice there. Um, <laughs> we want you people down there help. We up here with the jugs. We are come up here for mash up the people them up here, yeah, and the court port and everything. And then, got So we need to contact the ministry to do what we are doing. Me never know say. Me never know say Jamaica will live. And we have to contact them because at the government run up here. Me never know that. Take it yeah. to <laughs> uh, you know, um, I don't know where to start because it's a bunch of nonsense. Bunch of nonsense. But here's, here's where I should start. I should start by yielding the floor to the illustrious, the fearless Dr. Rupert Francis because they specifically mention him in their press release. And so it's only fitting that he should go first and the fact that he's in charge of the 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 diaspora crime intervention and prevention task force but but he will tell you that he's is not the leader he will tell you that we have a core group of people who are a core group of people responsible for organizing and strategizing to deal with the jamaican government and the way it's been treating our people just because we live here doesn't mean we should forget about our people in Jamaica, right? And like I said, it's only fitting that he should go first. So I'll ye I yield to Dr. Rupert Francis. Yield to Dr. Dr. Rupert Francis. Take it, take it away. Good evening, Wayne. Thank you for inviting me to your program. Good to yes. see you, Marie. It's great to see you. Okay. Great, um, great to see you, Dr. Francis. Last time I saw you, have tired. I know you don't have not tired. I love, it. love the hairstyle. Uh, maybe you should lend Ratigan the, the hairstyle because he needs some more hair. 
Um, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I, we, we then say we must, um, you know, we must be careful what we say and what. And I think the government has not seen and looked through this because, and I want to ask everybody listening and others outside here to first of all, send a note to Wayne Loans and send a note to Ratty and Mary and say to us that, listen, we are with you, we support you because they think we're alone. First of all, they thought we were dirty 30. Well, I guess we have cleaned up now and we are more than 30. Um, <laughs> but you know, I, I don't know. It, it, it's, it's almost laughable, the type of, time and money they spent to send out a press release, which is not a press release. It's an attack on the people of the diaspora. It is saying we do not value as we value anything else. And that's the main project of this. And it was to attack me in particular. And I found that rather disconcerting because I never attacked them. I attacked what they were doing and I attacked what they were not doing in the interest of the Jamaican people. And what we are doing, I would say me, as I said, Ratty quite clearly said, I'm not alone. I'm not a lone ranger. I mean, you know, I don't like to be a lone ranger. I like to work with people um, who have the same interest and the love of country that I have. So they sought to do it. What they first said that, um, which is interesting, is that they had acknowledged the crime task force in the beginning. And, but I, I sought their acknowledgement, but it was Minister Montague. When he came on the platform, if you remember, and asked for the diaspora to help us, anywhere to help us, to curb the crime in Jamaica. And based on that, we approached the ambassador marks and we got everything authenticated more than most task forces and this is what occurred. And we went there to Jamaica under their auspices. And we visited the Ministry of National Security. And, we're, and we, were, we were paraded and we got everybody, the police commissioner, the, you know, the army, everybody who was important to be at our meeting. And we even brought a stranger with our hands who offered to assist with the youth of Jamaica and their mental health problems, etc., have they forgotten? But what they, what is interesting is that we spent our own money on all occasions. We did all that, and we also did we did some sessions with the police. We went back, and other groups of us went back, and we made various offers. Have they forgotten that? Right, and we have it in writing. They forget. We offered them alliances with the universities in the, in the broader diaspora. We offered them assistance in almost every, for free, and they went and bought it elsewhere. I don't know why they went and bought it elsewhere, except that somebody may be getting a little backlash from the money, a little 10%, and so they did what they did. I am not calling any names. I don't call names. They did. They called my name. They said that this organization, the Jamaica Diaspora Crime Intervention Password, no longer exists. They are absolutely wrong. First of all, I would invite the government to go on Facebook and look at the amount of people that are joining without me and no interaction. Since last week, since we will have over a thousand people in there who have pledged themselves to the Jamaica diaspora crime into so what where which other organization overseas has that type of thing and nobody is um you know speaking to them cajoling them and there are pictures of seven to eight years of our action in England Canada and Jamaica and the United States and we still have action there so who is fooling whom you call and say that um, we tried to turn it into a consultancy. When you change it into a consultancy, obviously you people cannot even spell the name. And you have lied. Whoever wrote this lied through their teeth. And it's because you have lied and called and called my name in particular. This is a wrong thing you did. You're a troublous man. I mean, a troublous man is going to be a bam bam. We ain't afraid. We're not missing. We know exactly what you're up to. And it is sad because you people are supposed to be the di diplomatic lions. And are you making a diplomatic cat show you how to be a lion? Come on, give me a break. Okay? 
What do you want to think? We're going to go, oh, Lord of mercy, they now call your name. I'm going to run and hide. No, I did not run and hide when I was with you for 30 years working with you. I didn't ask any. Oh, I just remember. You said I am aggrieved because of what I did not get. What are you talking about? A job? I had one. You offered me a seat. I didn't even take it because I had a job. Do you forget, Dr. Chan? I will call your name. Okay, and what are you going to tell me? Did you offer me a job? I never asked you for a job. I've never taken any money for a job. None of you have ever paid me for anything that I've done for free. And I still do it. And we still have missions in Jamaica that you don't know about. I think you should go and ask your colleagues the type of things that we're doing in each constituency we're in in Jamaica. And stop throwing, you know, these innuendos out there to, to, to derail the Jamaican people to say this must be a madman the next thing if it was 1940 or 1930 you throw me in Bellevue as you have done with Howell and all the other people that came up and said anything about the government at that time so what in fact when we left the British left Jamaica and went to Britain they left more British people in Jamaica to run to Jamaica and to keep them in check well, I'm not one of those. You went to Pinnacle and you went for Howell. Right? You went all over and you arrested who? What you wanted to try? Okay. I have no standing, so you can't arrest me. You have no standing in America either. And we showed that to you recently. By, and this was not a game. All I asked you in the second letter that we asked with the email, and the public should know, we sent them a second letter, apart from the viral letter. And, you know, when I was a youngster, I used to say the pen was mightier than the sword. Or they used to say that I used to laugh until we sent out that letter. And that letter has shaken them to the roots. And the second letter, however, had an olive branch. Do you want me to read it to the public? You want me to tell them it had an olive branch? Let's talk. No, they have decided we are going to attack. Well, let me tell you, even in the art of war on the zoo, they talked about psychology and diplomacy. And remember, I, I studied the art of war. And I, I'm not asking to war with you because you can't war with me. You don't have the, 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 the ability to do it because you're not trained to do it. Okay? And you not, obviously don't understand what leadership means. You lead by an example and by what you say and not only what you say, what you do as a result of saying it. And I'm addressing you now based upon that scurrilous document you sent out as a press release. It is scurrilous. And you are attacking me and saying, I was changing this organization that we, not me alone, I named the names in an appropriate place just so you to get in, and I'm sure you've gotten it, to say who was there and who is still there. So ladies and gentlemen, let us get it clear. You have, st you have started a fire with a match. But unfortunately, it's got out of control, not because of the match, but because of you, because you were the one who initiated it. So I say to you, whoever you are in the ministry, whoever wrote the scurrilous document, you will not have and me apologizing to you, and I will not take your apology. I will take it elsewhere to check the validity of your arguments. The validity of your arguments. You did not give me the representation. You have disrespected me on camera, what we have. I have no grievance against the Jamaican government. I served with them for 30 years. I have no agreement, agreement with them. They have an agreement with me because I'm no little chicken or a little cat. I'm a lion, right? I behave like one. I'm a, I'm a man from Africa. I have African roots but I love everybody because we're out of many one people. So when people, you should see my phone calls, the people that are supporting me before you start talking. Let's go back to the issue of the, um, we are, we have, we went ahead. You have a Jamaican diaspora council, uh, 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 it must be a Jamaican, a global diaspora council, which is supposed to represent us. And remember I served in it for almost, or in and out of it for about seven years. Make a note. And for those who don't agree with me, okay. And I, you sent me accolades during those times when I assisted you. We helped you to write the Jamaica diaspora policy. That's the person you're talking to. Not because I did not advertise on Facebook 
on all of these. Uh, I didn't advertise because it was not necessary. I was doing something for my country and I continue to do it without your support. We begged you to do things. If you had listened to us, the, the, you are talking about the um the what they, they believe you your um index you're talking about. The fact of the matter is that we're number two in the world in murder. Hello. It's not number one, number, number, and it could almost be number one. Okay, and now you're saying that this has gone down by 14%. You should be, listen to me, it should be 40%. You did not listen. We, I sent out a message the other day saying, if you just take pillion riders off of the situation in Jamaica, pillion riders alone, you'd reduce murders by that, by at least 20 to 30%. Because most of the, I can't see it when you can tell me. Okay. Jamaica, you see it now? 53, yes, out of 100,000. Yes, I know. And and, and then US, this are US. Yes. I find something, so them go way down exactly. on the rest of the world. No, no, and a 50, no, no. this is number one. Exactly. Okay. Well, you see it? I have number so one, Number one now in okay. the world. Number okay. one. Thank you very much. Okay. Number one in the world. You should mm -hmm. be ashamed. We are not only number one in the world in murder, we are number one in the, wor the world in corruption. Yes. Don't tell me nothing. You're number one in the world with potholes. You're number mm -hmm. one in the world with no water in a country that is full of a land full of water. Right around the country, we have we have we have sea water. Why couldn't somebody do something about that? We're number one in the road in, in, in the fact that we can't people can't feed themselves. We have one, some of the lowest. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, please. The man them set me on fire this evening. You set me on fire. tell you who set you on fire, you know. Huh? Then the Susie thing they are talking about is coming here, Johnson Smith argument that. Well, That's her. Let me tell you something. As I said before, we in. Yes. I have, yes, hold well, on, I understand. But let me say this. I have a policy, and I, I change that policy. And now, uh, Carla, she must know who she is. You understand? <laughs> Everybody know who is the minister of, what you call it, minister of foreign affairs and foreign trade. Everybody knows that. And I am saying, you're a leader. I said it before, you must lead. I have never attacked you. I never will. I attack what you have done or not done or omitted to do. Okay? But we sat and you, you have my telephone number. Nobody said to me, hey, you know, what's going on? Let's have a talk. Except a few good people, which I won't call their names. So the point I'm trying to make is this. Let's get back to the deal here. The deal is what, what is what they wrote to? Absolutely not. Let them tell me it is true. We did not form the consultancy. We didn't form consultancy, you know. That means you're asking people to come in and pay your money for a consultancy. What happened was there are some people who had to be removed from the crime task force. And they were removed by me because they were utterly outpacing and saying things that were scurrilous. And I don't deal with that. And they were warned. Right? No, they want to join the Jamaica Labour Party, so they're trying to get favors. Right? Get favors for what? Trust me, it will be short lived. Let me make it quite clear. I have no beef with anybody. No beef with the Jamaican pro the Jamaican everywhere that I, I represent and I represented in the three constituencies during my life my, my lifetime. And I can still go there to people who love me. And, and on both sides of the fence, I can pick up the, the, the line and call people. Well, maybe I can't call one side now, but I certainly call the other. Or the others one, them, it is, you know, I can still call them. Do you know the refractions? But the fact of the matter, ladies and gentlemen, it does, does not matter to me whether or not you're P or J. It matters to me that Jamaica, under God, is moving the welfare of the of our people um, ahead, um, forward, and together. That's all I'm interested in. So I have joined with some good people. We launched some right here, every all of Mary, all of you guys here, and I have no regrets in terms of doing that because they are doing God's work. We cannot sit idly by and watch what is happening in Jamaica go as it is and not say anything about it because we will in the end be culpable. My point, my final point on that for the time being. I grew up in a, in a society where we were very poor. And I think that, um, you know, I got an opportunity by my village and what have you to expand myself, expand my horizons 
and people are good to me, and that's where I, where I am today. Every child in Jamaica, every worker, every police, every soldier, every um, you know, per, in, 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 uh, that works in Jamaica and what have you, deserve, and especially the poor people, deserve a better future. I saw a young lady who came online the other day, and she's a, is from the inner city, and she's going to be a lawyer. And she didn't have the money to pay her exam fees. That is should not have happened. They should have people should have helped her rather than her coming to ask us in the diaspora. I will say this: please respect the diaspora. We are your brothers and sisters. Our neighbor string is in Jamaica still. We love it, Jamaica, and we'll never stop loving Jamaica. But please, as I said before, do not wake a sleeping giant. Do not, because you never know what is going to happen. I thank you very much. I thank God for the ability. I ask him and to guide our nation forward, our nation paid forward, and those persons who have forgotten who they are, who have become so arrogant. You know, when I was growing up, I asked for not money. I asked for wisdom and understanding. And I thank God for the power of discernment. And so I end my, my little diatribe here this evening um, on that note. Thank you very much for the opportunity. I hope that your people out there will go and put some money in the One Jamaica Legal Defense Fund because they're going to need it. Because we are coming up with that, my one, and many others. And, and let me make it quite clear. Also, make sure you indicate to this town hall and to others that you want, you are a part of it, you support it so that they know that we are not alone. They believe that we are just a dirty 30. No, we are 30, 30 plus. Remember, it's like the loaves and the fishes, man. It feeds 5,000. We are feeding 5 million with the dirty 30. Thank you very much. <laughs> Yes, yes. Rati, your time for blast, you know. Because well, and I time must be some. Is, so I mean, I'm I'm some... Shout out Francis, but you too. Your time for blast. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it's I must drink some water and, and yeah, I just <laughs> did and it. Thank you. Now <clears throat> let me just pick this thing apart. What they did to Doc was despicable, unfair, unjust. And you can use a host of descriptive terms. And they're all negative. They tried to paint this man in a negative light simply because he has made the conscious and informed decision to represent Jamaica and not the Jamaica Labour Party. And that's, that's, that's terrible. Because when we were born, we were all born Jamaicans. We became something else after. And so this man has decided to fight for his people and his country. And now they've painted him in a negative light. They didn't paint him in a negative light before, all these years, until he started saying Jamaica first. And, and everything's after. No. <clears throat> Let me go on my diatribe now. The press release. No. When a press release is put out by a government, it stands to reason that, especially if it comes from a ministry, it stands to reason that the head of that ministry approves of that press release, especially when a press release of this kind. And not only the minister, but also the junior minister, or the, the what they call it, minister of state, they would have had to approve this. No lackey, no clerk, no... no um, low-ranking person could have put this out because this went out to the entire world. So this went out with approval. This was discussed and this went out with approval. I remember my days working in an embassy and when things went out from the embassy, the ambassador was approached, informed, and we sought his concurrence with it going out. If the ambassador said no, that was the end of that. So using that logic in terms of chain of command and the significance of a document you have to you have to take into consideration that the minister the, the the minister of state in the ministry of foreign affairs and foreign trade and the minister of foreign <clears throat> foreign affairs and foreign trade that they approved it 
So let's that's the first point. The approval levels, and so people know. No, these two people, I can say without any fear of contradiction, without any fear of being corrected, that they are both liars. The minister, she lied about a case that's on appeal. That's one. The junior minister, he lied about Jamaica, Jamaica's exports for the last 20 or whatever years exceeding imports. That's a lie because Statin put up their stats to show that he's a liar. And he sold that. And he has never corrected himself to date. He's never corrected himself to come out and say, look, I made a mistake. I meant this and I said that. He hasn't said that. The minister, that issue that we have with her, it's going to be decided by the courts. we we'll leave that where it is. But I maintain that she lied. And I have the evidence. The, the minister of state, I maintain that he lied. And the evidence is all over the place because he did interviews, uh, print and media where he, 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 he said it. He said that Jamaica's exports for the last 20 or whatever for a long period of time, it, 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 it ex exports exceed imports. And we know that there's a deficit of approximately $4 billion. So, we'll leave. so take into consideration that if this press release was approved, who approved it? And something like this, I dare say, came from the highest levels. Now, let's look at the document itself. It said that we were trying to deceive people by using a logo. It's my understanding that that logo has been used by Dr. Francis and the crime task and the crime uh, crime intervention and prevention task force for quite some time that it was it it was it, it the first the usage of it predates the global jamaica diaspora council which was formed in january of 2020 am i correct dr francis that Absolutely. the crime yes. okay that's correct and there was no objection to you using it none until now am i correct none none whatsoever Okay, now, the other thing is, we checked to see if this logo has been registered. This logo has not been registered. So government officials, if you're listening to me, and I'm sure some of your folks, they're listening. The logo that you're complaining and you're issuing cease and desist order, the logo is not registered, at least not in the United States. We checked. So, I was saying that if something belongs to everybody, it belongs to nobody. Everybody, I use it. First, I never complained when Dr. Francis was using it until now. But here is something I'm going to tell you. I hope you can, hope you can run like Bolt, you know. I hope you can run fast because guess what happened? We have checked with the U.S., patent and, and trademark office. That logo is not there. So guess what? We are going to lick a time. We are going to do it between tonight and tomorrow. So I hope you can beat us to the punch. And if you don't beat us to the punch, it means that all the time we've been using it, we haven't been using it illegally because we don't register it. So either we don't lose. <laughs> but I don't think we're going to beat us to the punch because we already have everything set up. We're going to... I want you to listen to me carefully, you know, people. We are going to register that logo. And then that will be the end of the conversation. You don't have to ask out who have rights to. But one more thing, Rati. After you do that, me just ask you, please, we have to do a cease and desist from them. Hold you on. Can... Hold on. All Hold right. On. Hold so on. Let me yeah. just make it clear. Continue. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Tonight, we'll talk up the things, you know. Yeah, man. Come on. Yeah. I'm going to come back now with <laughs> fire and brimstone and lightning and thunder. Yeah, right. man. <laughs> now, the images that them claims, oh, you're using images that 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 are similar to ours. I want them show me where they register their images 
And even putting aside the registration piece, I want them to look and tell me how is it that our image, our image is similar to their image. The images are not similar. In fact, I will I, I, I will make the argument that they're dissimilar. The images are dissimilar. And I'm talking about the image, the image, the image uh, uh advertising the people's conference. And if you notice what I said, the people's conference. All right. So the, the 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 image that you're talking about that's nonsense we're not free that people are put down things on people and talk about legal action that no frighten we because we know the jamaican government does not want to go to court i'll repeat we know that the jamaican government does not want to go on court on this because it's going to open up pandora's box about the illegal entity they've been operating in these united states and across the globe we know. So when they come on and say, well, there's a parallel event, that is not, that is not. And by the way, like I said before, we have a group of people working and that is not our categorization, our description of the People's Conference. As far as we're concerned, there's only one People's Conference being held June 16th through the 19th. And that conference will be held from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. at night every night yeah one somebody's somebody's having some other conference in the daytime we don't that recognize that the I'm not getting the promotion. that is what? not the people's conference no no here is here is here is the big here's a biggie here's a biggie they've been running around all over the globe talking about that they have something called the global diaspora global jamaica diaspora council we have been telling them for years that they should We've been asking them, is this, what is this? Is this an organization because you need to register? They said, no, it is a movement. Oh. That's what they said. It's a movement. We asked them time and time again, register the movement. They said, no, it is a movement. And they, that's it. They tell we got the bush. That's what they basically tell us. Well, that movement is now being harnessed under an organization called the Global Jamaica Diaspora Council. I hope you hear me now, people. The movement that the government and its agents, not even representative, and its agents have been calling the Global Jamaica Diaspora Council, that movement is now being harnessed, meaning it come under an organization called the Global Jamaica Diaspora Council. Why do I say organization? Because we have registered that company. We have registered that nonprofit organization in these United States. We registered it last week. So, nobody can use the name unless they get express permission from us. Us meaning the people in the diaspora, right? So, the representative in the Northeast, the representative in the Southeast, the representative in the West and the Southwest, they now can come and work for us. The people in the diaspora. That's the olive branch. Because, as you said, we are going to provide them with a cease and desist letter shortly Good. Good. and the letter will say you dare not use the term global jamaica diaspora council at all except if you are provided express authority to use that and at this point we're not giving the authority we're not giving any authority at this point and if they do not comply with the cease and desist then we will see them in court so when a, when a threaten court we are going to go to court so we are going to say who better than who we're going we're ready we are ready so as far as you just think global jamaica diaspora council it no exists no more except the organization run by the people in the diaspora here is something else and i have a list of things here if you're looking right now for the global jamaica diaspora council the group that is supposed to represent the diaspora where will you find it online remember it's representing us where will you find it online 
you will find it housed in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade website. So, Rati, where is the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade? Where Jamaica. is the, the address of the ministry? We are in Port Royal Street. Street. Port, Royal. Port Royal Street. So, no, no, the diaspora, brother. We not no. We're not argue with them. No. And <laughs> no, it's, it, it's, it's, it, it's in Jamaica, right? Jamaica. That's oh. where, yeah, that's where they are. And also, we would like them to know that we have registered the domain name. So we going to have our website. We're not going to have no website where we are where we are hanging on people's coattails and we have a PH from people website. We're going to have our own website. We have purchased the domain names already. So we have registered the organization and we have purchased the domain names. And pretty soon, oh, and by the way, I am pleased to report that the Global Jamaica Diaspora Council was registered last night in the UK. So they have no talking at the UK. No, lonesome. We're waiting on Canada yeah, for the, the registration. Yeah, man. So they, that guarantee, you know, so they know, so that guarantee. So them, run here, man, that guarantee, that guarantee. That guarantee. Okay. So, so we know, sense. and yes. next, uh, this week, we, we will, we plan to register it in Connecticut, New York, D.C. and Georgia. So effectively, they're out of business. And we filed, we filed a name already with the IRS. And that so now it covered the whole of U.S. It covered the whole country. It covered the whole globe. So, yes, you know, I do the branches, but when do already, it covered the globe, you know. It's like a record label. You really start like in this, and yes, and that, and that, it covered the globe. So, and listen, when a season and this is, without the letter, let me tell you if I'm now. When I know when I joke around here. Seas and disease. I want to talk about grievances. I, I could not react to because the little case and them thing they were not with. I could not Dr. Francis and I drop red pan either. You understand? What kind of grievances they matter talk and ratty? Well, because for me to come from the minister and when she said grievances, the draw back at the grievances. Eh? No, here's the thing. Mm. I guess they have forgotten that we have a democratic right to protest. I, 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 they have forgotten that. Because it seems as if they want us, they want to, they want to call we down and tell us say we must stop. We must do what we are do. Right? And that is a dem, that is a fundamental right, the right to protest. Mm -hmm. And them can't stop with. They might be able to stop us in Jamaica, but them can't stop with outside of Jamaica. And if you have nothing to worry about, when I'm when I'm sending out press release, you have nothing to worry about. You just go ahead and do your thing, right? But if you worry about us, if you start put out press conferences about us, it tells us that we're getting under your skin, we're getting under your head, we're we occupy space in your head, and we occupy your time because you have to sit down there and not having a conference and plan how not go deal. But I want to see how not go deal on the registration issue. I want to see how not go deal with us because we have a conference when to call. On a call the global Jamaica diaspora by Nyaka. We are gonna have a problem with that if we use a name there now. No, it's illegal, you know. We're gonna have a problem, you know? a problem with that. Right, it's illegal. What am I doing you now? Yeah, then them. hear them come back and say another yes. thing that them never we never consult and then and it was then endorsed by by whom? They said by the ministry. Me never know say how that go on. Me think it was a diaspora. Them say this thing uno never uno never it wasn't endorsed. What I'm saying, it do, no, we never consulted, and it's not endorsed by the ministry. The ministry, yeah, Jamaica, yes, we need over here, so we can consult them. The ministry, yes, but yes, the Chinese, them I listen to. We can consult and here them. Is why. Eh? And here is why, and yes. here is why, here's why she said that. And then, uh, to, uh, when they had the launch, she said, she said, let me, let me tell you our exact words. Now, mm -hmm. I know we're not, we're not keen teeth. What on it? She said. She said, we, and this is a direct quote. Minister Kamina Johnson said this at the launch. She said, we, meaning we, the, the ministry, plan this conference with you in mind. Plan this conference with you in mind. How about the diaspora planning its own conference? Now, here's why she said that. Here's why she said that. Because, and people, Google 
Global Jamaica Diaspora Council Terms of Reference. Just Google that. Because everything I'm going to say, you'll find it there. It says that the Global Jamaica Diaspora Council is led and directed by four people. Four people. The organization, the membership is 30 globally. But the 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 the, 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 um, the mothership, the, the brains of it, the people who are leading and, and, and directing it, only four people. Who are where those where four? Are in era over in Jamaica. Globally. Globally. Four of them. That's four. Four people control the organization. Or the movement. The movement. The so yes. Four people control it. Here are the four people. I don't even have to name the three. I'll just tell you that one of them is a diaspora, is a diaspora representative. It's a person who lives in the diaspora. Her name is Shauna Chin. She lives in California. The other three people are Jamaican government officials. They're assigned to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade. Mm -hmm. The organization is chaired by whom? Ministry. The Minister of State in the Ministry of Foreign yes, Affairs and yes. Foreign Trade, and Ter Mr. Terry Long, Minister Terry Long. Mm. He's the person who chairs that organization. They also, the, the 30 member group, the government of Jamaica appoints more than half. Listen to me now. The government of Jamaica appoints more than half. And the, the, the minister who chairs the organization, he has the right to get rid of the people that, 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 that they have appointed. So they appoint people to represent us. And they can get rid of those people. We can't get rid of them. They get rid of them. So tell me, how is that our organization? So she has a right to say, we plan this conference. Oh, and by the way, um, the, the website... We don't, we don't, the, the council doesn't have its own website. They might piggyback off our page. They don't depend on a page on the ministry's website. No, we, they said, they said in the thing that we should talk about people, um, talk, stop the, the, the flood of weapons coming to Jamaica. Mm. What they also did, they appoint people, sector based members, they call them. And these are people who, will represent the diaspora before the government, right? And they have somebody, they have somebody for arts, sports, and culture. They have somebody for commerce. They have somebody for education. They have somebody for health and wellness, environment, agriculture, faith-based community. And there is one person there that is designated to run the sector entitled citizen security. So, when them start talking about the diaspora is supposed to stop the flow of God, I him them to go talk to. He's the person in charge of citizen security. His name is Mr. Kevin Jr. out of your place, Canada. Can you imagine I him to some man what to do upon a serious note? It's the nonsense. He man a police, he man a nothing. Can you imagine him to some man with gun and gun at them do I say, hey, stop sending gun? Eh? Well, he man him to himself. No, no but you find the state and come tell them, oh, I don't want to know, say, no, God, I tell you, okay. <laughs> but here's the thing, when me want to find out from them is, yeah. please give us the report that he has provided to you saying what his plan is to stop the illegal flow of weapons to Jamaica. Please tell me what his plan is with the shippers. Um, who has he deputized to go and inspect paperwork to make sure that he can identify the people sending the barrels and, 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 and the shipments. Um, tell me what is his plan to scan the barrels and the shipment. <laughs> Not he. No move so fast, brother. So what are they? So him, a man of so much power, so I'm across the border, go to Miami because they like send gun from down there. So. And then go and help people them thing and say, no barrel can go. You know, you know, know, him up, you know. I just want to say this. I just want to say this. Listen to me. You know yeah. what Kevin Jr. is? A member of the Jamaica Diaspora Crime Intervention and Prevention Task Force. And he's a correctional officer. Great guy. Correctional officer in the thing. He has nothing to do with crime. He's a soldier 
and he was a soldier and he was he, then he was in corrections that's his portfolio great guy he's been on tv with me and he's also been i spoke to him the other day he didn't tell me he was going to be there but the fact of the matter is and that's who he is. So he is, in fact, a good guy. But what they have done is they are trying to pick a few people from wherever they can find them who they think that can represent them. But unfortunately, that's not his portfolio. I don't, as I, I think he is the, um, the best person to do that. He's a great guy. Don't get me wrong. Very knowledgeable. But I'm just saying to you, once again, foreign minister, whoever you pick, they do a bad job. Bad job. Because that's not his portfolio. He can tell you about corrections. And when he told you about corrections, you never did anything anyway. And look at the state of corrections in Jamaica. Ah, well, ah. well, well, um, so that's the person that, that they have selected for us to represent the, the citizen security. So he's the one, when they talk about uh, um, uh, guns coming in by whatever, he's the guy they're supposed to go to and talk to. And him supposed to come up with a plan. And we haven't seen anything so far, right? So the um who will who will who why haven't they why haven't they uh registered? Why didn't they register? Very simple question. Why didn't they register? You know why them never register? Because you have government, you have government officials on it, and it's going to cause a problem in the a United problem, States yes. to register. Mm. Right, them can get away and say, "Oh, it's not." Them take away, them take away themselves and say, "Oh, no, it's the diaspora handling it." But when you look at the managing and the control and the influence, it's them. Even though they put, the they put yes. yeah, they put that work, they put in the document saying that the 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 global Jamaica diaspora council is not an arm of the government. Yet, yet, control it. Where do they? Where do you find them? You find them on the ministry's website on the government website. And by the way, Ratty, them are them are um them are them are demonstrate to us and I said them are come with heavy and the tactic. So them them run it from Ministry of, of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade. So that listen, then that, that, that'll be a big problem, you know, with Uncle Sam you know. I in Canada anyway, in a Europe, you know. Because if you know the diaspora won't register your thing, that's different. But that's why them use the thing and say a movement. A matter of fact, they're not even supposed to raise the money. They have to be careful. Right. Right, and them raise money, and we just no accounting for the money. So we have to go check on that too. When them are with the turn up the heat, party, them are raise. <laughs> no, <laughs> turn up the heat. no, no. Here's That's what right. happened. No, here's what happened now with the conference. Um, as I said before, there is one global Jamaica Diaspora Council conference, and that is a conference because we have the name. We have the name. Legal. We are legal. We have the name, and that conference is going to be held from seven p.m. to ten p.m. From June 16th through June 19th. Now they had a they had a they had a um, they had a launch the other day, and here is what and I have the notes. Here's what that launch was about. It was about big business selling peddling services, products, and offering investments. Very little attention or no attention paid to issues like poverty. Housing, health, education, infrastructure, crime, water. It very little to no attention. What you heard was we said we said we're going to sell your Aki. That's what you're here. When you come down here, we're going, you must rent our cars. You must buy our big products. That's what you heard. You know, you're nothing about the people people's plight in Jamaica, nothing about the diaspora saying we're coming to help, you know, we're coming to relieve some of the pressure off of these people. Not like that. It was the legacy partners. It was, you know what it was? It was um, infomercial. It was an infomercial concerning a business exposition. It was all business. It wasn't about helping the people of Jamaica. Now, folks, tune in to the People's Conference, June 16th through 19th from 7 to 10 p.m. because you will hear about all of the issues we talked about. And you will also hear about the, the, the issues they talk about in the morning. So you can just forget about Freedom One because you're going to get two conferences for the price of one. We will be looking at what they said and we will be providing our own conference. And our conference is solutions-oriented. It's about 
how can we make life better for the ordinary Jamaican? That's what our Congress is. So, uh, Abdi, Abdi, yes, sir. How are you doing? <laughs> yes, sir. Uh -huh. yes, sir. Uh -huh. <laughs> my, my world famous panel. <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, but let me, I, let me get to that. Greetings, my friend, sir. Herb. Greetings, greetings, uh, Miss Daisy. How are you doing? Let me just. Hey, I am so far down here. It's 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 dark dark outside. I've got a um, I think a community center around me, and um, my dog has placed to my right, and I think some. Uh, football complex in front of me, yeah. But um, just just had to bring them home because I know she had to work late and she couldn't get back up by me. So if I waited till after the program, then that's like coming down your midnight. Um, so sorry I wasn't able to oh. join you guys earlier. Yeah. Herb T. No worries. No worries. Let me just finish up two quick points of Herb T. Okay. The, the, another point is that the voting for the Global Jamaica Diaspora uh, 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 Council, who you think Who you think managed that, that voting scheme? Who you think? The, them same way, right? Exactly. Yes. Exactly. It's not done by the diaspora. It's done by the government is involved in that scheme. And I say scheme because there are some people who are protesting or oh, people who have protested the voting. Not me. There are some people who have done it. Now, here's the thing, now, and this point is very, very significant. There are some naysayers, and we expect that we're going to have naysayers. We expect that because you have some people who, who they don't want to upset the tradition, the convention of them being invited to the, 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 in, the embassy for the cocktail parties and for the various events. Uh, as Jeffrey Tavares would call the vum va va, vum va vi. They, they don't want that to be upset. And that's what we're doing. We're upsetting that, right? So they have come out now and they've said, oh, they, some of them said, we have a problem with the logo. Well, folks, if you have a problem with the logo, go and check to see if the logo is registered before you start running up your mouth. Go look and see if it's registered. Because there's no such thing as adverse possession of a logo in America. Not because you've been using it for a certain amount of time means that other people can't use it. You know how you stop other people from using it? You register it. That's when they claim ownership, and they have not registered it. Registered it. The same thing, and them come up and say, oh, we have a problem with the conference times and the conference dates. Who the hell are you to tell us when we, the people, can have our conference? Who, who are you? Who, I mean, yeah, them Ratti. people must have lost their mind. They must well, come Ratti. tell me yeah, they have a problem. Ratti, what I hear you mean. So... Them have a thing in the morning, but we should have conference two times a day, you know, but I two want to listen to you know. Because you know, so out of order that we should have conference from 10 till 1, and then from 7 till 10 again. Right. So, well, for them, well, for them thing at all, from 10 till 1, we should have conference from 10 till 1. Seven, from, yeah, we should have the same listen to them and dissect them. <laughs> if I never that, we have, we, have, we have come with conference from 10 till 1, and the two out Yes, no. Look, yes. instead of look how silly they are, and you can see how biased they are. Instead of saying, "Look, you know what? You have the right to do it. We'll we'll tune in and hear what you have to say," or "You have the right to do it, but we're not gonna tune in." Instead, them say, "Oh, we have a we have a problem with them having it at the same time, the same date, but different time. We have a problem." With them say, "We should have it at a different different time, different date." And 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 so if them have it June sixteen, we supposed to have it. Me no know. Maybe December we should have ours or whatever. Let me tell you something for that idiot who's been saying it. Well, it's not one, several of them. And the reason why you have to call them idiots is simply because they have not read, they don't understand, they don't have the knowledge. Because if they did, they would understand that raising the issue of a logo is, is, is nonsensical. Because all they have to do is just ask one question. To whom is this logo registered? That's a very simple question. And if, they, if the answer is it's registered to the, to the government of Jamaica, then they say, okay, fine. You know what? Um, Dr. Francis and company, you can't use it. But if the answer is nobody has registered that logo, then people, the, the naysayers, you need to keep your mouth shut. You need to keep your mouth shut 
and open up your mind. Keep your mouth shut and open up your mind. As my friend Tigo would have said, I don't want to say what I would have said. Don't, we said, don't do something where you something can't catch. All right, don't open up your mouth and make a statement where you mm -mm -mm can't catch. But, but that's it. And then the other one about conference times and conference dates and it's nonsense. We have a right to do whatever we want to do. If you want to disagree, that's your problem. Because somehow, you know, you know, look friend and company, you know, look, you know, look to be accepted. Well, we now look for no acceptance. We now do this because we want uh, national awards or because we want recognition from officials or we want selfies or we want invitation. We are do this because we have people in Jamaica who are suffer. And when I say people, not a little bit, a lot. Like 70% who are going to bed tonight with, with no food on them belly or, 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 or uh, empty calories. You know, are the, the more than what 50 60 per uh, see there more than 50 60 percent swim yeah, around, sure, swim around big, so, you know. <laughs> the more than 50 or 60 percent who are earned <laughs> minimum wage are a little bit above it. You know, you know, I told a friend, a, a gentleman, a, 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 um, a, a friend of mine came to the house and we were talking. He's an American guy, he has a cousin who's Jamaican. And when I tell him, say, you know, the average salary. The minimum wage in Jamaica is $86, 86 US dollars a week. You know what I'm saying to me? How do they survive on $86 a week? How? How? These are the things we need to talk about. What, 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 you, you, you know, it also sound even worse when you don't down and tell them, say, a less than $20 per day, you know? Less than $20 per day. Less yeah, because $100 dollar would be for the week. $17 yeah. per day. Yeah. So when you tell him that no I'm also a five days per, per week, if a twenty dollar day, you know it's a hundred dollar. If right. a twenty dollar, so less than twenty dollar a day. So when you hear that no, I'm that say, well, on the way they say less than twenty dollar per day, how them survive? Bust you know, and food out of that too, you know. Everything so, has to come out of it, you know. Look, let me just come off of the he's off and you know, cause herb tea day i'm more more i hear from herb tea because herb tea have some reports you know about some crooked politician where i'm not gonna call a name but i just want him to talk about where my going but we just want to leave this subject with the people with these uh with a few points one is the global jamaica diaspora council that name has been registered and the name uh, the name belongs to us it's very simple the logo that they're fighting and carrying about, nobody has rights to that logo. And we are going to register that, that logo tomorrow. So if they want to register the logo, they can't register it. But they have a company for register it on that. They have to call it something else. They can't call it Global Jamaica Diaspora Council. So, wait a minute. All right. Let me get a foreign minister something. Just take a chicken and register it. Just take a, a, a picture of chicken and register it. Just load the logo there. Use a chicken for the logo. A uh, chicken head. That's all. Global so, chicken head. Head. People, man. That's so people, that. listen. In, 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 in short order, you will hear more about this conversation because we're supposed to wrap everything up by a week from now and we'll come back. We can say, well, everything has been wrapped up. And now we will be talking about establishing offices, holding elections, and the issues that we want raise, we want to raise with the Jamaican government. And then we'll go from there. But just anybody should come to you right now and tell you that they're they're represent they're they're the global Jamaica diaspora council representatives. Run them way. Yeah, man. FFT. Yes, sir. Look, one thing I'll say is this. You know, having done this, it's such a refreshing feeling for all of us that we finally have some say in our futures and then for the uk to confirm that it's done right we're waiting on canada now i don't know if any word come out of canada yet no that's soon done man all right but that, so that's already man from this like uh, let me tell you the biggest thing with them what them what them worry about are you yeah. know? and for your lucky like them that make sense everyone gonna wear else you know? because yep. really same like music label you lock it in like all over the place you know but we still do it everywhere else, but it lack. Yeah. You just lack it and, you know, I, I just want thing. So, if I'm it lack, they would lack. Yeah, yeah. Man, it yeah, man, it and lack. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, and we had that discussion um, yesterday yes. that pretty much the, um, you know, the, 
the um, follow-up to this is to ensure that we tell the folks where we're going. In other words, we can't do it and stop, right? We have to have a, the, our after action and then our for, forward action as to where we're going. Because yes. we need to know what they were up to. And remember what they said in their write-up. What they're doing is secret. And they don't have to tell anybody. So we need to find out from the so-called leadership what is so secret about taking care of the diaspora, right? What was the secret plans you all had? Because now they're supposed to report to us. I don't know if they understand all of this. And, and, and you know, you don't want to get in there and start a fight. And they'd say that they misunderstood what our intentions were. But having said that, um, Rati mentioned we have some reports. Uh, we got two out of three so far. And the interesting conversation I had this morning was that, listen, do you guys in Jamaica have any idea how many transnational or major organized crime organizations you have now in Jamaica? And one guy was trying to convince me that we have a major organized crime unit. The headquarters is in, now in Jamaica. It shifted from Mexico to Jamaica. Now, I want to get more proof from him. But the bottom line is why we asked Chang the question. If you remember the question, we asked Dr. Chang. Why are all those high-rise buildings all of a sudden shooting up on the island? Did we ever get an answer? Not a yeah. So what this guy was saying to me started to make sense because I could not figure out who came into an inheritance of maybe a hundred billion US dollars that they probably could just start putting up high rise buildings and 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 mapping out a, a few areas in Jamaica. And some of the areas these high-rise buildings going up in, um, and now this big, big um, project they have, Pinnacle, that's about to start. That's a project that they canceled back, I think, in 2006. But now here, it, it's about to kick off. Where's the investment coming from? Have they told the people of Jamaica? What are they up against? All right? You still have a problem on the coast with the folks who work in the hotel and tourist industry. The places where they live don't even have running water. Some people have to go into work and take a shower and put their uniforms on. And to get a decent and so all the stuff that they said they're planning, there is no community development because it's all geared towards the tourism. And eventually they're going to ask people in certain districts to move out because they want to do development in that district. And this is why they don't develop those communities. So when you're looking at this um, sudden and very rich areas coming up out of the blue. People are washing all kind of money and some of it is greasing their palms to allow these things to happen. This is what the guy was drawing my attention to this morning. And he says, people are looking the other way. We need a lot more investigation than we're doing. 
we can't cover enough people because there's a bunch of people involved in it. And if we can only do two or three at a time, we're moving too slow. We can't get ahead of it. So we need to be able to get ahead of it. Uh, we need people who know folks that have some uh, money that's just sitting down to offer it to the global, to our global effort with the um, the One Jamaica Legal Defense Foundation. And now that we take over this global diaspora uh, movement, we need them to offer us more cash at, so we have money at our disposal to execute some of the planning that was in the works and to come up with new and innovative ways of serving the diaspora, getting the vote into the diaspora, right? And getting people squared away so that they can help community development in their respective home communities at home. I mean, that's the purpose. The diaspora sent three and a half billion home. But it's like a drop in the bucket and the bucket have a, a hole in the bottom. So when you drop it in the bucket, most of the money going out. You know, it's not enough to take care of the communities. Communities are suffering. People are suffering. And then when they want to have the conference, they don't want to address none of this. Not a, not a single word is being said about poverty. Not a single word being said about the poor health care, the, the hospital staffing, the hospitals breaking down. They promise they're going to rebuild certain hospitals. I mean, the hospital, Kingston is not Jamaica. What about the hospitals in the, in the country parishes? Is that them people don't exist? Right? The education system that's been so bad and the loss of teachers. They don't want to address none of that. But the people in the audience, I know they understand what we're up against, but we're going to have to push back. And part of pushing back is taking charge of the ship. And the ship means we're now in charge. We have to begin to steer it. Now, we, we're not going to insult them, shut them down, or tell them must get out. But they have to realize, look, there's a bigger problem, bigger issues, and you have to begin to address that. What are you prepared to do in concert with the diaspora to address all of these issues that I spoke about? Yeah. Stop lying is the first thing I tell them. You stop lying about the the um, the Jamaica's GDP. Stop lying about the debt. Stop lying about how much money we're bringing in versus how much we're spending. Because all them things, you just look at the World Bank report and you can't see. You look at all the other issues that Dr. John addressed, and they all are important to the survival of the people down there. So they just need to stop lying and get with the program. You know? And I don't know if or when they're going to sit down, have a sit down with us, but that's what's needed. That's exactly what's needed. We have enough expertise in the diaspora to come up with planning and development that will help them see their way forward. But they don't, they're so arrogant, they don't think we're up to their standard. And that's where they're mistaken. We have too many educated, too many determined, and too many people willing to sacrifice in the diaspora to fail. And that's what they have to understand. 
And, you know, that's it. We got to get something going. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. So, Maria, we're not here from you for your time now. But, um, Maria, sister, got out now. But, um, her, um, her, Ratty. Ratty. Yeah. So, through the logo, them can't use the logo again. But I tell them, see, and this is. Which one of them I look good for them use? Look, I don't know. <laughs> Any one of them just add the wing. Which one of them? They can, them can use one. We can't tell them no. Them can use one. They say a bird. I want to look good. The national I bird. That they, yes. they, they know. So them could use one, but can they think go well, I tell them this and this is. We're not gonna tell them with that. So um to the foreign ministry, please. When they can't use one of this, nobody know. I don't think nobody have the domain name or, or them have the image. Up. I don't think so. So when they use one of the image you now. Just use the one here. Nobody now got half of the image. Be sure they now come off of the image. Right you now, the image there. And then away. So use one of them images there. Deal with nothing. Right? <laughs> we are so ratty. Not carrying Maria, but we are so ratty. <laughs> no, the, the, the logo thing, it's an it's a non starter. And the name of the organization is a non starter. They, they're, they're, they're having, I'm, I'm sure when they watch your program, and if they watched my program last night, um, they're having sleepless nights. By the way, Herb, there's a clip of the program last night that's making the rounds in the uh -huh. in the boom -va -vi, boom -va -va circle where you started talking about um, people traveling and picking up money and and Saint Lucia and all kinds of connections and also the stuff that um, that Mystic Sensation did on the Prime Minister and them say, hey, them say you guys are doing the work. Of investigative journalists, you guys are doing the work that the Gleaner, the 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 traditional newspaper that they should be doing and they're not doing, and they said, "Well, thank you for it." And I said, "You know what? Um, it's going to be interesting to see if, for example, they come out and say they're going to sue all of us for defamation because one of the things they have to do, they're going to have to, they're going to now have to open up their books, and I mean, we have we have travel records." We have witnesses. We have a whole bunch of things, and I don't think they would want. I don't think they would want that to be exposed. So I think for right now, I think I'm going to keep them. I think I'm going to just hope that this thing, these things, will just die. You know, the the nine day death, but it's not going to die. The nine day death. So the the clip I just saw it. Uh, I'll send it to you. They're worried. People are very very worried. Mm. I, 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 I that's good. It's good that it's going around because you know what? Every time we discussed it in the past, it was a flash, um, like you say, flash over nine days and it is done. Flash in the first two or three days. Flash the same day. And then they forget about it after that. But now that the video is going around, now that they can replay it in their heads, they have to be wondering what's coming next. Uh, we hope we don't disappoint them. No, because we, we want to get um, um, the reports that, yeah, we have some more reports that we have to get. And uh, um, and then we'll go from there. So I know yep. they're having sleepless nights right now because they're wondering whose, name is, whose names are on those reports. And they're also worried about some other things. Um, the one thing they don't have to worry about is the the name of the organization because that gone. So they don't yeah. have to worry about. It. Um, and it's very simple. They never, they never, they didn't see it fit to register it because they know why they couldn't register it because otherwise they would have. So they yeah. know that they couldn't. Because could you imagine? Could you imagine the Jamaican government registering that organization? Yep. in the u.s in the united states and then yep. putting their people on it and then saying the diaspora must report to them could you imagine them could you imagine the scrutiny that they would go through them could that would be to crazy mm -hmm. right. so that's why it was easy for them to say oh it's just a movement and these people are just we're just collaborating on one but they, they, there was no real collaboration there's no real collaboration and i'll tell you why there's no real collaboration our representative michelle tolonil she was asked a question um, and the last time she appeared on the program and uh, regarding her responsibility or role. And she made mention of the fact that 
she's she's very involved with the community because somebody had a problem with the passport and she referred them to the CG. And I'm saying, that don't know why you should you, you occupy the position there. You don't refer nothing. You call a meeting and you say, listen, this is an in, this this is an in, of interest to us as a people because we know that people have been waiting inordinate periods of time to get their passports. It's a problem. And so we want to have a meeting with the ambassador and we want to make it abundantly clear that, look, you're not going to be well received if we don't get your passports. We've paid for the passport and it shouldn't take you this long for the passports to be provided to the, the, the recipients. Shouldn't take, or, or the, the, the applicants, shouldn't take that long. That's what I expect from my rep. I expect my rep is going to advocate, not refer. And so this organization now will be, this standalone, autonomous, independent organization will now represent the diaspora. And when we represent, we really represent. So when we go, when there's an issue, like all of you with, out there with passport issues, we're going, we're going, collect, collate all the complaints. And then we go and go and say, we know we want to talk to the ambassador about this issue. We want to talk to them, but we went call a meeting with the ambassador and the CGs. Not go to the CGs and make them just sit down upon it. We want everybody to know. And then we're going to say, listen, we need to fix this problem here and we need to get an answer within a reasonable period of time as to how soon this problem will be fixed. And we want to ensure that this doesn't become a problem in the future. That's advocacy. That's representation, not referring. No. So somebody said, give them a duck for the local job to give them a duck. And somebody said they can't use anything with a clown. Oh, Candy Max. Yeah, 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 yeah. Candy Max, big up yourself. Yeah. Um, oh, loan some loan some busy over there, so. Maria. I'm listening to you guys and I'm thinking about the level of disrespect coming out of the Minister of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade for her fellow toward her fellow Jamaicans. Because in the press release earlier that you read, she referred to them as element. You know, in, you can disagree with, with somebody without being disrespectful. And instead of referring to us as elements, she could say, you know, members of the diaspora, Jamaican diaspora, that they have a disagreement with, but not call us people elements, you know. And I think the Jamaican diaspora may be the only one that operates out of its the ministry, out of, out of the government, because normally a diaspora operates independently of government. So I've yeah. never heard, of, I don't recall any diaspora operating out of their foreign ministry or out of the, the, you know, the office of the country that they are from, only the Jamaican one. But when you think of some of the things that they are asking the diaspora to tackle, the first thing that the diaspora has to address is accountability of the Jamaican government, transparency, and they're not willing to do that. So the diaspora has to do that by force because they're not complying with the Oh, the conversations that we want to have in terms of transparency, good government, good, good governance, accountability. Because when you look at the areas that must be covered, their diaspora council thing that they're having in June has, addresses none of that. When the diaspora will want to address how best can the diaspora assist with addressing issues in the healthcare system, issues in education, issues in national security, because the resources are there, the people are there to do it. They have to give a lot of diaspora to talk about that. They should be coming to the basic table of the diaspora, not the other way around, because they're doing their thing and saying to the diaspora, come to the table and listen to what we have to say. Instead of saying, allowing the diaspora to say to them, you are the government, come to our seat, to our table, have a seat at our table and let us tell you what needs to be done, how we can assist and air some of the grievances. Because when they talk about crime and the, the guns going into Jamaica, first of all, they have an address, they have an owner. And it is not the small man down in the ghetto that have are bringing in these guns. They have to start arresting the people in the upper echelons of society that are responsible 
for bringing in these guns and these drugs. It is not from the small man. And unless and until they do that, they're going to constantly have this problem with guns, the flow of guns into Jamaica. It has to be from, has to be addressed at the highest level because you have a, a, a security minister whose name was in WikiLeaks. And the very fact that his name was in WikiLeaks tell you everything that you should know. So these people are seeing information that they shouldn't even be seeing, given that they're, they're on their own check and pass. So how can we really be serious about just addressing these issues when they are so arrogant and nobody wants to listen? And nobody really wants to talk to the diaspora. They want to dictate to the diaspora and tell the diaspora what, when, how, where, and why. But it doesn't work that way. It is supposed to be the other way around. I agree. I agree with you, um, Marie. I, I want to say that it's impossible for them to um, understand. It appears that we are an entity by ourselves. And as you quite rightly say, there are diasporas that we have taught to be a diaspora throughout the world, right? And yet we are the only ones who are hogtied by mm -hmm. our government. And it's for a reason that we have to bow and scrape every time um, we, we say things and so on. And they think it's cool. It is not cool. The people, the fact of the matter is that one, they're building roads, which is good, and building this. They are also must understand that they have to build Jamaica the poor people of Jamaica, because without them, we'll have no Jamaica. There'll be no reggae, there'll be nobody. In fact, they have to be wanting to import workers into Jamaica. Why? Because they have not trained our population. They thought they're doing the things with heart and all that sort of thing. But there are many things that could have been done before. We have no food. That is Jamaica, we have food, yes, but it's not, it's, it, it it's not supplying the areas and the people are importing food, importing potato, importing tomato. Import, why are we doing that when we have land that is so rich and prosperous? Why are we doing that? Because we are fattening, somebody's getting out chewing out the fat somewhere. We're importing chicken, the chicken that has been, you know, it, God knows what they do with the chicken. Meat, fish, <laughs> everything, vegetables. These people are absolutely crazy. And when you talk to them, they're upset. They can drive on well, the You know what I mean? We are, we, there is no way we should have this sort of thing going on in our country. We have, a, you know, there are young people out there. You know what I mean? And we, if we train them, you know, they say we don't have it. What is going to happen with the country if you don't, you're putting up these things and I don't think they're using regular masons. They're bringing in stuff from overseas. When we're going to lose all our masons, all our um, people who um, work in, 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 in the industry, we, we still have nobody who can do anything if they're bringing in everything from overseas. And that's what, in 10 years, we, we may not be able to recognize our own country. Right? Recognize it at all. They give me, I mean, and the land they give me has water on it. 1200 acres in, 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 in Sendan has water on it and it's nearby the ocean. Who gave them that right to do that? You understand know I me? Mean? And people are talking about if the Chinese didn't do it well. The point I'm making, I have a problem. Yes, you know, the Chinese have come in, but they have a story downtown. They say that people are selling oil that is not regular motor oil. And nobody did anything about it. So it seems to me it's a free for all, except for Jamaicans. And we must not say anything about it because we are foreigners. We left and we ran away from Jamaica. Um, you know, for, for, for and we still send money. Oh Lord, help us. That is what is the problem with Jamaica right now. They yeah. have turned the people against themselves. And that is really sad. Very sad. It's really sad. You want me to make it here, fam? I'm going to call Danny. You want, yes, I'm going to make you something right now. Danny, I'm going to call you. Right? You see, Danny Marina, this, you know. It's a Danny Marina, right? You know, I'm going have a nice business, like where you have Gloria and then you have Danny Marina and them thing, right? And you know, I'm out of Harbour and this. And Danny, answer your phone. And, and, you know, so them go out there and go take them in peace, a place, and I do one bag of things. Hey, Danny, how are you doing? I'm, bad, I'm here, man. I'm here. We just call you. We call you on the panel now because we're fixed. Now we just, uh, we just, um, you know, we are blaze some fire. Um, give me your situation. We want Ratty Gang and the whole crew here, and you know, the whole crew. Here we are going with you. The whole family. Here we are going with you. Oh, yes, sir. Well, 
and what the prime minister, the government do to you? Oh, in my case, um, yes. You know, we did it from the point of peace and spot from the other people. Grandmother and grandfather used to be there before, you know. And, you know, mm. so my grandmother grew up, come see her. Start that little thing, you know. Yes, sir. I've done two, you know, a little restaurant thing, but it, it was a little poor place. But mm. we played from a six year old, you know, with them, you know. Mm. And um, get to all and one take over the thing and go and push through my grandmother's dream. But you know, it go by that's not build up on the place, try to get some paperwork on it. Talk to the director of Commissioner Lands, mm. make them know the situation. And said to me, say, All right, seal my part first, that are the business era. Mm -hmm. When we complete the marina, then them deal with the parking area. Mm. So, me did a wait, a wait, a wait. Only if you know the man, them lease it out to somebody else. Mm. You know? And we think it wrong, you know, because we did a, we did a build something and it get established. Just in at the time when the business are left off, there come problem, you know? Them take it and them give it to them friend and then the people them who come there, them no come with no form of respect, nothing. They no give me a notice, yeah, they no go do a gas station or you know normally oh it's supposed to go by the uh, them supposed to give me a letter. Say they they might look at lease or they are supposed to come to me and ask me if me agree with it and you know? Mm. Not like that. Them just come and fear bullies in brute force thing, you know. So this, under the government now, because people are complaining, they just go around and they just capture some place and be a gas station. Oh, so much gas station I put up? Come with some gas station name, yard. Man. We get to understand, Rati, the Yardman gas station them. We get to understand, say, you know, uh, is a farmer, um, cabinet member who own the Yardman, you know. What name? Andrew Wheatley? Andrew, you own them Yardman gas station there? Hmm. But the people them, you know, it's surprising, you know, them just go on and them just start, you know, at land and just do some things where it really are yeah, people in Jamaica. Yes. I'll be a rude force thing, them are going out of the way, and it's like, no respect, them not a respect to nobody, you know. But the Chinaman, no them get set down to that acre the other day. Chinaman, them get set down to that, sad Chinese people, them get set down to that acre for the bill. So you know where them come yeah. there, so out of Arbor Head, out of Arbor View, come put a new gas station there, so. But we have two gas stations over the road. You never need a third one. Right? No, one, one, one. Yes, man. So we never need a third one. So you then put you under pressure now, too, right? Well, we never tell us you're under pressure because originally the diagram for that property there, where them get released, it's supposed to be the original diagram for the area. Mm. But what them do know, them resurvey the place and the resurvey them are resurvey you now. Commissioner Alonso no come as me as a lease, you, say, you know, for find out if these people where them are do, you know, it within the law. Them just stay there and them, I build them fence right now, they even come out in the local area when we left, where them take the big piece apart where we have the gas station, where them take. So them are come down in the local area, they don't up on the road. So the local park in them, we have, them are take that too. But you don't need to them know? come down on it. So Danny Marina now, they're put Danny Marina under threat as a Eastman. Well, they're going put me under pressure like they want me to just close down the place, but it's it no fear. All I want to go and no fear because I do have nobody to talk to, you know. If I go to try to talk, it come like me at the problem. We reach all the court one at the time because when them come, they might dump up the dirt, the dirt, them some big heap of dirt over there. And the dirt are blew over my place and... You know, we reach a court and it's like, based on when you like me wrong, you know. My place is supposed to be there. Because a commercial area, a restaurant is supposed to be there. But me did it from how much years, me did it for the same time, did it from my youth. Yes. So me did it, check for 41, check, 41 yes. years now, me did it. You know? Mm. So we occupied a little piece of area there, a park, on it. And mm. just, it's like, no rights not there, you know? You know, you know where I come from, not we now we are trying to make. Yeah, we know that man. 
Me know you know, me. ends meet and move on with the life, you know? Yes. It's like, I know. Everybody else can come here. I make something. Chinese them come here, Indian them come here, everybody can read. I we were there is a problem. So you would but be that But it's not for right to the Prime Minister. I yes. make him know the situation. We are demonstrate what. You know? Mm. I make them know the situation. Well, um, I let me look for me. Me look for me where. Well. Why them be stop? Give them friend. Hey, Andrew, let me tell you this. Stop. Take the land. We are progressive. And you know, people like this, progressive man like this, to set up theme thing. Danny Marina, you have Gloria's. You have Danny Marina, I set up theme fish paste and everything. Nice. Nice restaurant. Nice, nice restaurant. Seafood restaurant. And you just go there and get only just a boot a take with the thing for me. It can't work, you know. Yeah, man, they not have the respect with anything them do over them not have the respect. They just do what they feel like to do. It's like a politics thing, you know. Nobody not there ever say, oh, we are doing that right, you know. In a right, so all like, right. Now I'm finished with the yeah, panel, but like, you know, we are, we are struggling you know, from nothing. Yes, we know that. I mean, I build that thing from nothing, you know, from back of torch, you know, we, we, you know, I mean, alone, back of torch. I mean, I see, no, no land over there, you know. You don't go back You know this, yes. because you build the thing with it. You know? Yeah, man, we build it, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, so no land over there, I mean, create the land over there, no. Yeah. You know, so like you, me take my life, me take my time, man, and create something. Yes, man. And then them come now and take it from me. So all my years with me, I, me have struggle. And I try to say, you know, build myself and mm. try to move forward and yeah, live and feed my family like anybody else. Mm. I'm going to take that from me. No, so, you know, sometimes I don't go there at the time. When, I mean, to be honest, I feel cut up about it. No, you imply people, right? They say a lot of people, I see you keep your treat, they may do a lot of things out there. So. And as me I said, I'm sure you put an next gas station right there. So. Because we have two out of you right there, sir. Everybody will pass us and go to the airport. When you pass it, from when I come from town, I pass two gas stations. When you can't see them clear. But you put them put there one them friend gas station right there, sir, from under the a friend thing, A friend thing, Wayne, because even when me, we demonstrate and we are, we are called out to the government, you know, so Andrew, hear it. Hear it, like we're under pressure. Hear me, you know? Yes. See what I'm going on, because we don't want to do to me now, right? So we just want to intervene. I don't know. All right. You no know, look. No. You know, and and, and that's how we are rate him for. You understand? If you're a leader, you're supposed to listen to your people. Mm. You can't put your friend in front of people. Can I so government thing God, you lead and not, not, not lead like that. What, what? You're supposed to come out and listen and try to, you know, get some form of clarity and fairness for who are going. All right. Anyway, I'm going to go and continue to show you. Yeah, because we're so going to knock off, so we're going to continue to show you. We have to talk to you because Dr. Rupert Francis, and we just are talking about the kind of the leadership. We now have right now a Jamaican, we're telling the truth. He might for the, for, the, for the rich and famous, not for the poor and needy, you know. Well, and that's what I'm saying. You know, we we know that. We know that. We know that. We know that. You two are suffering. I come from nothing. You see how them treat me, you know? Yes. But the Chinese, they yeah, get I'm treated American, some, right? American citizen book on. Eh? I know you're American citizen book too, and you could have up there, but... Yeah, so, man. Yeah. I have said, you come like me, I said, better to migrate, because I'm not there for we. We mm -hmm. are Jamaican, and we want something for our size, and it's like, we can't own it. Because people are pushed we off. And then if we go turn to the wrong thing now, you're going to hear it. You know, everything I will come down for me, because you know where I go. All right. You know? No, so don't force me, you know, if you, if you look otherwise, but... But they are, they are... Why would it better? Why would it better? All right, mm. respect, cool. Uh, respect, bless. So you yeah, were going in a Jamaica now, the blue lagoon, that gone through, you know. Not that you got it. Maybe I'm going to hear about it, right? You yeah. hear about it, uh. <clears throat> So, PLA, yeah. them not deal with them, just deal with one of one. Yes, a woman up here, PLA, and don't say, when she look NCB, I feel them thing, pan the woman thing, you know. And them I try to hold it down, you know. Yeah? Out of many, I think, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, a who a vote of men in our it up now? A the steward them? Oh, tomorrow, you know, a NCB, them give for develop that they must spend the money in a ratty. But here the government has said, you know, um, Renaissance and, you know, Bill and a NCB. Me want what the deal with them get out there, so if them give them the land for a dollar for de de develop it up, them are who develop it up. Okay. Foolish this a grand man. So me ask, too much food is this a go on? Blue Lagoon, I think that gone to. Cause them that put to the people, them, them that want them on it. 
Yes, Rati. Do me a favor, uh, you marry her, Herb. Just send me back the video, me just send you. Uh, somehow it just disappeared off of my thing, yeah. Eh, all right. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. I can, I can send it back to you right now. Yes. All right, so I'm send it back there. Yeah, Thank man. you, sir. So this is yeah, what I'm Listen. Wait, yes, what, 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 one of the things I wanted the audience to look at, search the internet, talk to your friends, and if you have Haitian friends, talk to them. The technique that they use in Haiti that has prolonged gang warfare has been the rich oligarchs, and Canada named them. The U.S. refused to name them and to sanction them, but Canada named them and sanctioned them. A guy named Braun and, and uh, 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 about four more of them to include the ex-Prime Minister Martelli. These people are paying the gangs to cause a lot of this ruckus. And, and, and for that reason, even now that the, um, the transitional council has been established, they're going to give them a hard time if they don't name their man a woman as prime minister. And so we have to take a, a look at is it, are any of our rich people, oligarchs as they call them in Haiti, are any of them stirring up trouble by supporting the gangs? Where are the gangs getting the 1700 and $2,500 US dollar weapons from? Who is buying them? And 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 uh, what that pricky pricky boy was couldn't buy him shoes, but him got killed with a seventeen hundred dollar weapon on him. Who bought it and gave it to him? Did they ever trace it? These are all the things um, our uh, deputy commissioner of police Fitz Bailey need to answer. But I don't know if, if anybody asking the question. I mean, in addition to the crime scene at. Patrick Bailey House, whether or not he took uh, paraffin test samples of Bailey's hands, right? How are they conducting these investigations? We don't understand it. And, and I don't know if anybody's asking the question directly. I hear these <laughs> press conferences and I don't hear the question being asked. So somebody got to be on top of that. And to find out who are buying these expensive weapons and handing it over to these young boys. Because it cannot be anybody in the diaspora. It's got to be somebody ordering that stuff from down there. Maybe in conjunction with a contact in the diaspora. But it's the same uh, scheme they're running in Haiti that they're running in Jamaica. No different. And we see signs of that. Something online, right? This is where, this is where the farmer minister, um, Rati, you know this farmer minister? May I send it to you? No, I, I Rati, more you read. I'm going to send it next you read it because I don't want to put nothing, I don't want, you know, I don't want, all right. So I'm going to send it to you, Rati. I'm going to send it to Maria. Let me just tweet that we are. Let me send it to Uno. I make Uno read it because Rati, I say, make Rati read it. Right? Rati, you know the person good enough. Look on this now. Right? Maria, I send it to you too. I send it to her too, you know. Send it to Dr. Francis too, all right? So watch this. <clears throat> Rati? Yeah, man. You want to read that for me? This around 12 hours ago. And tell me what, if that makes any sense. Just look at him. I'm going to send it to Maria Urban, Dr. Francis. All 
right. So, I'm going to send it to all of you, yeah? All right, you see that, Rati? Yeah. Read that, read that for me, Rati, please, and thanks. <laughs> let me make sure I send it to you for you read it, you know? Oh, boy. <laughs> all right. Ian Fleming International Airport, Boscoville, is a community airport. My godson, Rory, arrived from Miami on Saturday, April 13th, 2024, on American Airlines Flight 4007 into the airport at Boscoville, St. Mary. He lives across from the airport. After clearing customs, he walked home. When will you be landing or taking off from Boscoville? Let's support this so that it can be expanded and more planes from more places can land at Boscoville, St. Mary. Please share and encourage all your friends, family, and community to travel using our airport in Boscoville. Take a look right, at the so video. I may have the video. Yeah, man, I'll show you the video. Whether you just walk across with But yeah, with that, with that, say no. That tell us that airport, where them cars are much billion, the same corporate, Fim Godson, we just live front of the airport. Me and you not live front of the airport, Rati. And you have a smart flying and a smart plane. Where this him say, I put up? Because this we don't live over the yard front of the airport. And where they expand, that for sure says a failing airport, Rati. So I'm afraid to beg you now to come take the plane. That no plane can't come. That make any sense to you? Oh, them say it's going to work. And what that means, Jamaica lose a bag of money, Rati. You well, don't see it. Let me just put a plug in uh, next this coming Saturday. Um, we got we'll have a presentation using the government statistics showing how much money was spent and is being spent on that airport, and we'll also show how many flights actually coming into that airport. Because my understanding, and we will find out for sure this Saturday, my understanding is that only two flights are coming into that airport per week. Two flights, and they're not they're they're, they're small commuter planes. They, the the capacity, I think, is like 70, 70 passengers, because it's not a big airport that you can have some of these jumbo jets landing there. Plus, not only that, why would why would anybody fly there anyway? Except if we go into Sandals, which is down the road, you know. But otherwise, why would you fly, you fly to Kingston or you fly to Montego Bay? So. We shall see. Tune in this Saturday. Reason with Rattigan. We'll discuss that and many more topics. So him, 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 him telling people now to come and take the plane. Because yeah. him got some walk over the road. We don't live over the road. How much more yard can run around us? And then him want to expand if we take more plane so them can get to expand. So I him promotion that after you take um, taxpayers' money, wrap up over how much billion dollars. And I'm going to we get a coke port. It turn a coke port. And you have to tell people to tell your friends to go fly. Fly go where? And everybody live in Miami. You there in New York, where you go do? Fly come out Miami, catch get a little mosquito plane, me call them and fly go in there, so. That doesn't make no sense. Me no, me no like fly them, you know them small plane, they're not ratty. So, and my style. Yeah. yeah? That doesn't make I no think sense. I think, I think, I think it's high time now that we heard, that we hear from, um, Mr. Fitzbailey, regarding the investigation of the the cocaine that was found at that airport, so high time now. And by the way, I've I've, I've I've been giving the new police commissioner some advice. And um, one of the advice, one of the pieces of advice I've given him, and he's taking it, he's taking it to heart, is to rid himself of the the people around him, the the, the high command, um, move them around because you can't trust them. And I also advise him to ask Mr. Bailey within 60 days to provide him a report on all of the major investigations. And then after you, after he's brought him up to speed, then he should get rid of him. Um, we, we are waiting to see whether or not he's going to accept that piece of advice. But the piece that he's accepted so far is, is moving people around. And so he's moved some people around. Because I tell him, you can't trust them. And these people, you know, they're jealous. It's a human trait. I mean, they came up through the system, he came in sideways, and now he's your boss, and he's the least qualified of all the people that they interviewed, because he doesn't have a, he doesn't have the experience, um, and he doesn't have the knowledge, uh, and in fact, he's the gentleman who was or should have been in charge of the the system to pay overtime, because he's an IT specialist, and the system is still not up and working 
the way it should. Um, Candy Mark said, Prince Bailey didn't have no time for that. Well, look, uh, uh, all the all the police commissioner has to do is just say, listen, you need to come and brief me on the major investigations. will take two days um, for you to give me, because uh, th there are many cases. So he said, give me two days, and then we, we'll, we'll shut down everything, make somebody else deal with everything, and you just tell me what's going on. Because... I guarantee if you ask the, the 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 prime minister well you know i don't I, I don't guarantee anything what he should do is just take a briefing from him and then relieve him of his duties that's it because he's been ineffective when your man will tell me he said i'm on drive off a spiritual in a car and come out and go look and find a tree I and then himself. Himself. no i not believe that That's and when your man who said yes arrests are imminent in the the cocaine thing at the at Baskerville and up to now, you know, it's almost like them people have come out last week. He just come out with the new. And when's the last week? When's the last week? When's the last week? You last week? You want you want say? Yes, but 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 the cocaine thing. This how much you up? Let me just put him in. Fix Bailey. Fix Bailey. Because the man's name is Fitz. Yeah, no, fix him. Fix things better. Oh, I can fix the man. Fix Bailey. Yeah, him no name Fitz again and him dash the name there no more, him no want it. So him name Fix Bailey now. Yeah? So what him doing? Fix things. You understand what he? Yeah? Okay. Yeah, man, I I you see Blake, Bailey. Let me see which one of them. Let me see Bailey. All right. Let me see for the one here. Yeah. See for the one where I'm at with the police. Oh, I mean, you want to hear what the commissioner said too, right? Yeah. Oh, you hear what the commissioner say, uh, Bailey. All right. You will Bailey say yes or no? Can you want you will Bailey say? This is a garbage. Pan this really. again now. This are, this are the oh, this are April 2020. Well, well, not that. More you see him himself for the attack. This is with the drug sport. Well, on. And you know this what they should be doing? Are you a friend? We are a friend too, you know. Watch your friend. Greetings. Yeah, we man, sir, no. See, um, Google today. Um, he yeah, fix Bailey now. He whispered to fix Bailey. That matter is still ongoing. We are collaborating with our international partners. And as I indicated when that matter came up first, that we are going to make arrests. There is no timeline to an investigation, and it is actively being pursued. No, that man is a crap. No timeline for the investigation, Ratty. And no time. So the court court there, he said he still have to make arrest. He's leave by September. Fix me a limb name now, not not fix him. Fix things. He may watch me now, we know. Can I do it? Don't watch me. We are telling him I watch me. I know him I watch. Come here, side of him. Me the side of the border there. He might watch me now. Him name fix F I X fix Bailey. Him fix things. Him said there is no timeline. What did that mean? Every day day and the next hundred years and him not there neither. Then nobody not get arrested. You can't follow what this guy I say. Him sure we have him for go warm. Here's why it not make. Here's why. Here's why it not making any sense. Here's why it not make no sense whatsoever. If it was a case where they said. All right, the cocaine is coming in. It will be like a controlled delivery, or we are going to surveil it, and we are going to figure out who who responsible for it and all that stuff. That would be one thing. But the cocaine has been found, and for this airport, they would have put so much money and upgrade it, and you'd think that at the very least they would have cameras, right? So the cameras would be able to pick up images of people moving back and forth. It shouldn't take that long. How long? When did this happen? It happened September 2022. September what? 22 years. Because last year, last year, February, him come out and say, listen, him on gonna sign the paper because the make arrest soon. And now a one year gone since him said it, you know, one year and, and a month, two months. And him said no, you know, have no timeline, but him gonna make arrest. He don't say my sign, what kind of paper? No, I'm are just going to work with him counterparts. Which one I'm counterparts? I'm going to like him a chicken back. And you know what happened? Yes. You know what happened? 
Yes. I'm going to retire and you still don't have any arrests. That's why we have, but we, when and then the person, have, and then the person, watch, yes. I'm going to retire, no arrest, and then the person who take over going after a year into it, the most of them can't find certain things, certain documents, can't find this, can't find that. And in the meantime, what they need to do is continue to check the weight of the evidence and to check no, to make sure that the evidence is actually what, what they seized. Because, can I say something to you? Can I yes, say something sir. to you? Let me tell you where him know. I'm remember, you know, you're a police one they were investigate. And you want know, you wanna know, know where the win here and where the win know about. You have a member from the cabinet and businessman of Fidem Cook. Okay? Me not call, you notice me not call the name yet because we are watch him fix daily. And we notice him like fix up things. So we are telling him to a politician and businessman cook. See? And we not ask them, we are telling them. Yeah, but they have to keep checking the evidence room because yeah, you them, know them, them not be on with that. It's a small airport, this it's just a little air strip. So you have less people, less traffic. So who carry them back there with 25 million pork? And the no the immigration and custom, they must see who carry the bag. Them tell me say them they, when they play, them them allow the plane to fly out. Them say it. And then them put that in the paper also. And the police come talk. Other people tell me, so them say like them that stay out with it in a clothes and what have you. Them know when the bus come in, them know who put it in there. Them are going like, I am not talking him the talk. Why I'm not arrest nobody? You know what them, you know what police tell me, say? You see, you know, are you them want to stop talking about these things, you know? You and them I blame the fantastic five too, you know. Cause we talk about a lot of things and we are we are get pan them pan top of their nerves. Because it's that dead already, you know, nine days. So it, it get pant up of them nerves, brother. You see? Them I blame the whole Fantastic Five. You want me to show you now where Google to say? You want me to show you where I'm saying? No, them ask Google to about the trust with the police and the citizen. You know what I'm saying? It's a perception because, like him, I said, there is no dif deficit. No. The, the people them love we. What means? Him not ready yet. A matter of fact, you are telling him, say, um, you know, him can't trust them. Them can't trust him neither. Then what is For me, tell if I ask him, you don't ask some question. But for me, uh, you, want, you want me to tell you a question if you ask him, ask him if he have any, if he have any U.S. citizen book. Ask him if he have a U.S. book. If he have a U.S. citizen. You know, I'm going to tell maybe, uh, uh, maybe I'm going to tell you yes because through some sickness and some illness. I mean, I want to go, you know, make me draw out and start to ask some things, you know. Anyway, let me show you something. Remember, me had the win, you know. Remember, me had the win. All right, let me show you something with him. Watch this. Hear this, hear the answer from, from this now. Hear it for yourself. In terms of the number of weapons that we have here. Okay, the commissioner the man, right, eh? speak on the issue the touch act you, you mentioned. What we will say is that any initiative by our international partner, in particular the Americans, mm -hmm. to mitigate the amount of weapons that are being shipped within the region, illegal weapons, it is a welcome initiative. Um, I know that we have been working um, with our international partners, I know that from the level of the political administration, that should have come out time more, Trati. I know. I remember this man a police. He's supposed to attack as a police. In can't tell about from political administration, you know. This, you know, um, police be as police. Here this. Partners, I know that from the level of the political administration, there have been several meetings on a regional basis. There have also been several meetings trying to enlist the support of the United States in particular to prevent the inflow. Sarati, are the minister, are the, are the minister this way all our suit? Are the minister of misinformation this? Can I talk like him as a minister, you know? He not talk as a police. He not talk for, he not talk for the government. Let me move him a little bit. Like he not talk for the government. Individual man. from um, ATF and other law enforcement, U.S. law enforcement um, um, representative, as well as Caribbean um, law enforcement representative. So 
what we will say, any initiative to, to mitigate the flow of illegal weapons um, is welcome. And by the way, I'm not wearing police clothes, I'm wearing jacket and tie like politician too. So I'm not sure politician -ness, yeah? All right. Um, by us. Yeah, this is not Thank this. you, DCP Bailey. Thank you very much, Commissioner. Uh, again, Maisha My Brody. Can we go to that question from Maisha Brody? She's indicated that she's having problems with her microphone, hence her use of the chat feature. Can we just pull up that question? The question is... The JCF was in dialogue with Turks and Caicos police regarding Jamaican gangs um, targeting schools, especially the one in West Milan, which, sorry, go, go up. I think I may have missed something. Um, Jamaican gangs, okay, they're wreaking havoc. Will Commissioner Blake continue these talks? started by the former commissioner well this is an yes the, the simple answer, answer is yes. yes next question uh has anyone been arrested in relation to recent bomb threats targeting schools especially the one in westmoreland which left at least two schools closed in march no, we have had an arrest on any of those okay is there any updates to on payments of overtime monies owed to police officers. Uh, not, a lie. not quite sure what is that question asking. Um, the overtime system works. Persons who have paid or who have worked overtime have been paid. There are um, challenges sometimes with uh, but most of him, him start like already. A GMT say my question to the boss better. Him not well, good. Uh, Hold on. Hold on. Hear what I'm saying? I'm saying it works. And then I'm come after and say, well, we have challenges. Don't mean to tell us how Google to. Ratty. Mean to tell us how Google to. Rewind. Rewind that one. All right. Well, I'm here. And I'm going to ask you a question. Who have worked overtime have been paid. There are um, challenges sometimes with. Uh, but no, no, no. Go back. Rewind it. Rewind it. Can I start with that? So the system works. Overtime monies owed yeah. to police officers. Uh, not quite sure what is that question asking. Um, the overtime system works. Persons <laughs> who have paid or who have worked overtime have been paid. There are um, challenges sometimes. Then it not work, uh, Papa. Most of those it not work. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> there, Google too. Not, all right, well, I'm not right. Well, <laughs> where do you find them people here? Yeah? Where do you find them people here? Yeah? No, but here a bigger one, you know. Well, I know. I'm first speech, you know. What match me up, you know? But the system works and people are being paid. Thank you. Yeah, this Leon now. Nash of NRP Online Radio says the trust factor among the populace has over time been a point of concern where citizens still do not sufficiently trust the police with information regarding finding crime producers and solving crime. What plan is in train to impress on law enforcers to treat leads from citizens confidentially? Question based on, um, based on your, the per, the, 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 the Stop, stop, the stop, 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 stop. No, you understand. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to ask if I finish plate. But but this man, I look like him worse than the one before, man. It's a Google too. This one I worse than before. You know what I'm asking about? They're asking him about intelligence-led policing. They're yes. asking him about a robust intelligence base. You see the deer in the headlights, look, him no know where for say, no? No. Him no know where for say. And they might ask me what is. Well, uh, herbalists jump you know. in and help me now because we are talking about the intelligence cycle, we are talking about fusion center, we are talking about um the, the all of the, the, the all of the things them they were going to making an analyst uh pivotal to intelligence-led policing working alongside investigators. We are talking about requirements, we are talking about all of them things. This man is in, in clueless. You never know then what is yeah, you see if he had said that 
his intent is to establish fusion centers and that you can call in the tip to the fusion center. Mm -hmm. they'll, they'll take it, they'll map it out, and they'll make sure that the, um, the reward um, feature kick in also. If they take the... It, you see, what I'm supposed to describe is a, is a robust intelligence base. Two principles. Right. How you protect information and how you protect people. Those are the two things in, yep. in, in, in focus span. But this man, I tell you the truth now, boy, I'm not so sure I should give him no more information because I look like him never know if to do with it. Um, I worry now. Maybe we should have sent back for the man we replaced because this man I have no clue, brother. No <laughs> clue. You never want you. I'm Google too. See me. Well, I know. You see, how, you see him surround himself with a whole heap of people. I'm a fair whisper and a years and thing. I right. have no clue. And this time, like, first. But Jamaicans, I hope, Jamaicans, I hope you are watching now. I hope you are study. I hope you are observe. I hope you are being critical about what's going on. When I say critical, not critical in terms of just criticize, you know, for the sake of being just, just you know, being a nuisance, but criticize for the sake of saying, what are we doing to our security apparatus in Jamaica? What are we doing? Me guarantee you say, if you ask him, if you ask him alone, just have him alone. And he said, tell me about the intelligence cycle. How does it work? How does it start? Where does it, uh, uh, what's the process? What's the role of the in, in intelligence analyst? What's the role of the investigator? How do you use technology to enhance uh, this police feature? How do you, uh, how do you, um, how, how do you predict uh, uh, the occurrence of crime? If you start asking all them questions, they him not no clue. Him done. Him done. The man I mash up me head. Believe me. We need to get back the man before him. No, get back the man before him, please. All right. So you want so right away. Finish what? Let me hear him answer the question. Let me hear him done here answer the question. We don't rewind. So him answer the people them love them. So them give them everything. Not no question. Rewind. Re. Yeah, this assessment. I mean, I don't no, know. No, go back, go back. No matter what assessment, they don't know nothing about assessment. Rewind. In a never de deficit. Well, uh... All right. Plan is in train to impress on law enforcers to treat leads from citizens confidentially. Um, never go back more because it was based no, that's... on, um, based on your, huh? the, per the, 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 the uh -huh. person's own assessment i mean i don't know that there is a a trust issue with the police when the trust issue with the police that's that, 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 the crazy that's that's the craziest part because there's <laughs> always been a trust issue right i don't know that there is a trust issue with the police um many times we um have narratives out there that may not necessarily be um, the experience that we we see out there. We must say, but we continue to serve the citizens. We say it only a certain narrative. I'm gonna pull up some video and show him something. Why you think the police? Let me, let me, let me help him out. Let me help him out. Let me help him out. All I'm gonna say is, listen. Yes, there is a narrative out there about tr a trust deficit with the police, and. I intend to do something about it. And I will be meeting with my team because we realize that the only way the police can be effective in Jamaica is through a partnership with its citizenry. We cannot do it on our own. And I'm going to make that a priority in my administration. At them, can I answer them supposed to get? But when you start to say, I don't know if there's a trust issue with, 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 it's a with, with the police. No, man. C come on. Look on him eyes. Them. Him eyes them betray you. Look in him eye. Him eye, him eyes them. I tell the same lack confidence, you know. Him not, lack him confidence. Him don't know, him don't know where my talk about. So, so, have so, no clue. Tell me now. So if him have a trust issue, you know what happened? It has to stay the same way with the people, them and the police. So nothing has got change. Because in a film head, I don't know where, where my father's brain, but in a film, in a film, in a film skull, and a film skull, you know what happened? You know what happened? When the yes. outgoing police commissioner, right, was welcoming him, him gave him a whole heap of gifts and gave him things and things like that. You know one thing him never gave him? 
אם נבגים, אם נבגים בפוליס קומישן אחת, אם דיד וירם אונה אחת, אם שאת ברינג פים אחת, אז סידריל אחת היר, אגיד לו, כי זה מנה זה דון ספוט, זה מנה לא אב נו קלובו פוליסינג, לוק פנים אייס, לוק פנים בודי, לוק פנים בודי לנגוויץ', זה תל לי שהוא לא קומפטבל, ואני אומר לו, כשהוא מתחיל לתת לו, הוא אומר לו, אני לא מבין, זה שאלה פשוטה. What do you mean you don't understand what the question is asking? And then you start out with, uh, 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 well, uh, 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 no, look, in this position, the answers them supposed to roll off of your tongue like this. Roll yes. off of your tongue like this. Because then you know what happened? People will then start believing in you. People will then start, right. to, have, start to have confidence in you. I say, well, look, we look like we have a change for the better. But right. when you come to the verse. You know, no, no. What, what do you expect? I mean, I just don't understand you guys. Listen, I have to move on now, but I just want to say I, I'm so disappointed by what I've just seen. I mean, I don't know. I, <laughs> I can't believe it. I, I mean, I don't know what to tell you because it seems to me that, you know, let me, I, I won't even tell you exactly what, but I, let me say, I pray for my country because If this is what we're going to be getting um, and people can't get answers. Who's the guy in the green jacket, by the way? Who is he? Why is he? And his name is um, Magla. You know, Magla is not right in the red green. He's showing his light green jacket. And he's yeah, man, that's the friend, man. Magla. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> but the point yeah. I'm making is this, that, um, boy, I, 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 that, this makes me sad. That's all I can tell you. I want to thank you guys for giving me the opportunity to appear on your show. I don't know how you guys do it. You must be certainly much younger than I am. But, you know, uh, Marie, you too. Um, <laughs> I can't go, but people, it was wonderful. Remember to, to, to subscribe to Wayne Lonesome. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. And remember also the One Jamaica Legal Defense Fund. Yeah, and yeah. the notes to come in to say you support everything that we do because they think we have no support whatsoever. One love, one heart, one destiny. I talk with you. Bless up, brother. Remember, yes, brother. Right. Bless. All right. Yes. All right, Doc. Talk to you. Talk to my brother. Thank you very much for everything. All right. Yes, man. Well, no, man. This man, 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 this fight for you I say and do what you want people even go the extra mile no you think any policeman based on this performance you think policeman or woman you think any of them are gonna say me would die me would die for the police commissioner me with me with anything you tell me for the me know me believe in a way myself I'm have a good strategy you believe anybody you be anybody believing at this man yeah? oh see that look here right away look here look here I'm not surprised look look now Google this look now That's a commission. Look what look at now. Look. Google too. <laughs> Google too. You see that? Let me stop it there, Sophia. See that? Google too. I Google too. <laughs> see, see that? Two of them now. So two of them I grab. Two of them. I Google too. See that? <laughs> yes, I Google to this. Eh? You have Google and you have Google too. Eh? You better teach Mario to repeat that. Google too. Like uh -huh. two, can't like a Google, like Google two. <laughs> uh -huh. Google two. Yeah. Oh, you know, somebody just put something inside. They, you know, them so in your your theme focus that you don't call them uh what female constable or female, whatever you call you have that too. Woman, you don't, you don't call them woman constable. You know woman. what happened? Yeah. No, but that's stupid. Can't hear this now. You see two Jamaica, you are they promote them, go up there, but your ear say. Constable Brown and Constable Brown, you know. I'm gonna say with well, a woman constable, a uh, woman soup brown, a uh, woman soup ratigan, uh, 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 the man rat, yes, a ratigan, a uh, woman soup. We know it's a woman, I get promotion. So when you not call them, I'm gonna tell you something about him, no, no. The youth, they don't care about bad and thing. the youth, they respect police woman more than the man, them. The woman, they have no trouble with the woman, them, you know. Most men have no trouble with police woman, none at all. Right cross. Them now them cause them are more like mothers and sisters and them thing there. So them don't have a trouble there. You understand? But them they have with police demand them and the deficit and who and who do this. 
them not them not them not really this woman like that, you know. You understand? So when you hear say constable this uh, female, this or that, I don't know where I come with because it's a Google too. Yeah, him just come with foolishness. Yeah. You better never show me that no, because me have high hopes and say. No, me have well. to show you because we know listen. Him just a same at you, Ron James and the boss. When he himself under the boss, better. Him said them get paid. That mean if him them get paid, that mean Ron a fight for what? Ron a tell lies so him for lose him job then because but, of him a tell. But, but, but you know the man say. You know you know the man say there are there are challenges. System works. But there are challenges. That's the reason why the court are in the first instance because the system never work and we have challenges. That is it. So how you for come and say the system work and we have challenges? You have one year for remove all challenges, mm. and you are the IT specialist. Remember this one, the IT specialist, you know. Bumpy and him, you know, well, I'm an yeah. IT specialist. So me just, I'm not IT, not, not anything, but IT specialist. We don't make him. No talking, right, Maria? Hold on. I agree. I was hoping that he would have been doing better than um the premier the previous Google, but he seemed to be only a continuation of of, of the problem, you know. And that is rather unfortunate. It is really rather unfortunate. And he seems to be so out of his depth. So they should have put him match him with his skills because he's into IT. So put him where his skill set would be better used. And not put him as commissioner. There, you have Chairman James, who would make a way, way better commissioner than all of them combined. And they have him there wasting away. Which is rather, it's just sad. It's just a sad situation. Look, you know, you know, as this, them do, them do the, we'd have the white experiment with the police commissioner, because I remember a pure white man used to run it, right? Then, 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 then them start bringing some black man, right? Then, we have the military experiment where they bring in three military people and all of them feel it miserably, especially the last one. The last one, no. Why? Yeah, this is the last one. No, them are though. Then we, we did that. We did a PhD experiment and that feel with Dr. Williams. And so we come here now with another failure, right? The one experiment they never try yet, you know, is a woman experiment. Put a ah. woman in charge of the thing. Put a woman and them have qualified women in the, in the JCF, you know. There yes. are qualified women in the JCF. Put a woman inside there. Get rid of this man here. Put a woman inside and make us say, what happened? Because me, me, I tell you the truth right now. You mash up me head. Because I've never seen this man before. I just give him some advice and I, I see first, him start some people. Just briefing that, you know. That are last me, you know. If that are the first one, and I'll be a yeah, I'll be, you know. And, and hear what? Hear, hear why? Hear why it's so bad? Hear why it's so bad? They might ask him questions about film, film portfolio, you know, IT, when the day, you know. I remember knowing you know, him did the 20 years, you know, and I like him just come in and he might say, well, me I find my way around. Him did the most 20 years or close to 20 years. You yeah, think in performance to, would have, yeah, you think in performance would have, would have, in performance would have demonstrate at certain depth, yes. certain knowledge about the institution and about the issues because remember, you know, him there in the inner circle, you know, so him knew about all of the issues them were going on. But it looked like him not retain and it looked like him not critical. If you can retain things and if you're critical, you're good. But it looked like him feel from both counts. Him not retain and him not critical. Him just sitting there like a dunce bat, just sitting there. You know, when you're the, you know, they could dunce, 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 pick, you know, dunce, pick, in the back of the room and the teacher I work hard on the, on the blackboard and the teacher look around and see, say, dunce bat, I look out of the window and say, hey, you answer the question. Next, huh? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> hey, did, 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 did this guy ever run a police station? No, sir. He never lock up a man yet, neither. <laughs> uh, you know, if you don't know what field work is like, if you never supervise a field team, then then you will understand what the requirements are from up top. If all you do, you are programming stuff all along. <laughs> you got a problem. You have to get out into the field and get a taste for what your uh, an inspector and what your area superintendent doing. And then you understand command and control. 
And once you get a grasp of command and control at that level, the tactical level, then you can come up and deal with the strategic level from uh, the national uh, center, from the national level. But, you know, if you don't understand tactics, you you got a problem. Herb, we have to remember, yeah. you know, that he joined the force as an assistant superintendent. Assistant superintendent don't lock people up. They're yeah. administrators. They're managers, right? They're managers in training to become leaders. This I want to learn nothing about leadership. Nothing. Let me tell you something. You see, once you see a man surround himself with a whole bunch of people and start whisper, whisper, him and know nothing. So but Jati, but Jati, remember, say, him and us, right up there, say, remember, man, him a DCP, right? Mm hmm Him a deputy commissioner. What's a deputy? But him and them apart. And you still have to surround yourself with them now. You just, remember, you now come from the army, you know. Him the right yourself with them for the few years. And you not learn nothing. Him head right. tough. Mm. Him and a commissioner, I'm a Google too. Look, him need to give back. Well, put it this way. I know him work hard for him PhD, so I'm not going to deprive him of that. But it, 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 it actually shows now. It shows that you, you, you don't have to have a PhD to think like a phd now keep in mind you know think about this and here's where the government make a huge mistake dr williams the first phd candidate to head the jcf he has a bachelor's a master's and a phd in what criminal justice a very pertinent topic it relates to his job and he was a colossal failure. Him come up with one like a full full program about get the guns. That's your job. What do you mean you come up with a program get the guns? And that's what you do. <laughs> get the guns. But that one, you don't start. What 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 I so what I know? That's if you have so what I, that's what I said. The government don't know them at all because if you have a man like oh, and the other thing too, um, Dr. Williams come up through the force. So if you have a man who come up through the force, who have all of them degrees there, and him feel. No, you gotta take this PhD man and, and you yeah, brag and show up. Oh, he has a PhD. Don't you shouldn't even mention that. Because what I'm gonna say to you is that if a man with a tree with three degrees and a PhD in the criminal justice couldn't do sir couldn't do service to the service and people of Jamaica, then what do you think this I want you to do? And this I want you, and I mean I mean not this him still, but I mean I'm not Marshall no, because you, you come, no we because you, so we're hold it back. We no, not hold because, it back. No, I want to be respectful and believe me, I had I had a lot I, I held back because I said, well, boy, I, this man it may be it, it, the fact that he's been sitting in the inner circle for a while, you know, it will come with some promise and, and the future will, will look better than it than 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 it looked, you know, a few months ago. But after me see this performance, I am I am I am supremely convinced that this man is going nowhere fast. And Jamaica is in for a rough ride with him because him have no, you know what I got now? Everybody are gonna undermine him, everybody are gonna do their own thing. So you better get rid him better hurry up and get rid of them fast. But th that's our prayer problem too, because who are gonna teach him? Who are teach yeah, him? No, 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 he can't continue nothing. Remember, I'm no. seeing and him can't crit and him no critical. If he says I'm seeing already, can you have some people from my younger stage to miss you know get seen? But he, you know, remember them that beat on foot. You know, I come back with something about beat or something. Say, you might come back with something. You beat, beat and foot in a long time. Then police them come work and you know, in the in the community well, and beat and foot. Well, you might come back with something like that and say a brand new thing. You might come with. When no, get that no, from? No, no, hold on there. Um, lonesome sis and herb. You think we should have really help him? Um, continue to help. Can we give him five piece of advice already? But we want him succeed, you know. Be, be, not. Not for him, see, but for the people of Jamaica. We want him to succeed. We want him to control crime. But we, not, we have to have a bad start. Bro. We have to have a very bad start. Well, I don't know. Me that give him two mango seeds still. Two mango, East Indian. They have some nice seed tonight. I mean, me give him two East Indian. But me can't make him ramp on people, them kind of way. Him not ready yet. Me give him two East Indian. Party. She said, we want him to succeed. Me give him two mango. Hey, man, you to April. For the good of the country, it is better to make as many suggestions as possible and hope he really takes them. 
you know, because people are suffering. That is the bottom line. People are dying. That is how serious it is. So he is off to a bad start, but let's hope he takes some advice. Really off to a bad start, but it's not too late for him to, to, to make some corrections. You know, he can, he can course correct. If he really means the people well, he can course correct. <laughs> Could you see him? Could you see him at a press conference by himself? No, that would be challenging. It would be, more, it would be more challenging than former Google Father. Me don't want to see him solo. Me don't want to see him solo, man. It, it would, he, given how his behavior in that setting and how he was lackluster, he wasn't sure of what he was saying, he wasn't sure of himself. You Looking at him, and if you didn't know, you would not believe that he's a commissioner. If somebody, if you did know him shadow, that, you know him shadow. Here's him shadow for deflect. Him should have go up there and take my brethren, Dennis's spot, right? I wouldn't suggest him wear the green, the, the that jacket that were Dennis that wear, but I would suggest him go up there and then him conduct the thing. And when the questions come, him just direct them to the various people. Like when him come, the, the questions come. So him no have to answer no question. That's where should I do because when you ask him questions like this. Simple questions, very simple questions. Him can't answer. They might ask him questions about a project where him in charge, I know. Him and some other people in charge, I know. Him alone, but some other people we, we, that he should be very familiar with. And him start out by saying, it works. Then him start out and say, but we have some challenges. And we say, but that is what the court did tell you for though. The court tell you fix the challenges and them give a year. And it's been, it's been, a, it, what, it, it, it's 2022, 2023. It's two years now. 2022, and I'm telling them to fix it. Yeah, 2022, it was, it was when the judge ordered them to fix it. So from the time the judge ordered them to know, it's two years, and the judge gave them one year, and it's still no fix. Certainly so work, brother. It no, no work. work. So you yeah. must say it worked, it no work. No. It no work. Yeah. Uh, yes, I will leave it, you know. But our people remember just reminding us this now. They, 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 and we have, we have to start reminding, you know, because them now are telling them to look a full, full thing, and we are recap. Put it up back. See it there? Yes. And you can't see it? You don't have the video. You don't have the video. You don't have the video. Yeah, remember to have the video too. Yeah, man. Uh, now and we then we talk about this. Now go me come at it with the video. <coughs> match it with the video. So this are, this, are, this are the tent? Yes. Yeah, that's the tent. So no, no, no. Turn out this, you know. And by the way, um... I could talk to me could just warn them again in a, in a Jamaica. Um, when I go to no right for use the logo, but we are going, we are going to next, we are going to next try or something, you know, because we are, we are going to have bird for use. Nobody at all now want to use that. So, no good, we good to them in a ratty. No, yeah, because them can't use the bird, man. A nice bird that. And the Jamaica want a Jamaica bird that, man. They want to make sure them. Eh? If you want to be sure next eh? week, man. I'll show it during the week. Because my I'll send you some things so when you put up. Yeah. For the um, one Jamaica League of Defense Foundation. Yeah, and, and, and this yeah. And, and yeah. And the 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 um the 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 people's conference. I'll send you something about that too. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll play that video right now. Yeah. All right, so so as me I said, no, I man fast, you know, Ratty. I did the thing my fast. So remember the the the, the tent of me, eh? man, that you know, so you know, now come out there. So, so I make them when them see this, you know, them jerking you know, having a pandemic. And by the way, we I put a season. This is some today from tonight. <laughs> on the don't touch that. Now go to something one can use. It legal phone to use. See ya. Any one of them. You know, just pick one of them. See that I want to look good, Ratty. We can, them can use. I only want to use. I want them up for no one so like up in the sky. I see them thing. Yeah, I use. I want them. Any one of them look better. We can use any one of them out of them. Yeah. Are the wings stretch out like this? Just use one of them. Yeah, yeah. All right. So use one of them. The phone logo. Leave the logo alone. It no belongs to now. And remember, you know, only can touch in the state and say, now you remember over there, so now you know. We have to practice over this, so we have to go figure out nothing. We don't have to look for nobody, you know. 
This is who I'm going to. So we are telling to leave the logo alone. When I joke with you, I'm going to put up this right here. When I joke with them, yeah? When I ask me, and then we are going to tell you no. But that's your right here. When I go tell them yes, I tell them from now. So I'm going to say that them now are going to ask again in the right here. Eh? <laughs> eh? <laughs> yes, sir, Rati. Them not going to ask. No, them not going to ask. No, but if them, not, uh, if them, uh, if them, if them go on, you will continue to use it, you know, Rati. You have to go to the pandemic. You have to do it, you know. But when you could have at least given them an opportunity to ask, now you're telling me they're not going to give it to them. They're not going to bother to ask. No, but them have to ask. You can't have it up to a matter of fact, one and remove it too. Them two out of the same chat over here. The following is a public service announcement. The Diaspora Crime Intervention and Prevention Task Force and One Jamaica Legal Defense Foundation invite Jamaican patriots and friends in the tri-state area to the second staging of a call to action. Meet us on Friday, May 10th, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Jamaica's Consulate, located at 300 East 42nd Street, corner 2nd Avenue in Manhattan. That's a call to action for Jamaicans and friends of Jamaica who are seeking the best solutions for Jamaica. May 10th at 9 a.m. at the Jamaican Consulate at 42nd Street and 2nd Avenue. Listen to Reason with Radigan Saturdays at 3 p.m. on Reggae Global Radio and YouTube for updates. Knockin'! Thank you, sir. Knockin'! Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yeah, I got for the best I solution. nice. <laughs> All right. Beat, 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 beat. For the best yeah. solutions. That's what we're about. You hear it, sir? We're there for solutions. All right. So, so we have beat them. All right. So everybody have something. a great week. Yes. Yes. Yeah, please. I just got to the gas station, so I gotta go fill up here. All right. No problem. All right, Maria. Yes, man. So when we don't know, we can go mash up some I may have more water. Not juice, you know, water. See, water, yes. Yeah, my mind think that. My good. No juice, no sweetness. My good. That's it. Bella. Sister. Sis. Three you know. three people. Yeah, man. Hot. Yeah, man. Steaming. Later. Bless. <laughs>